It's the Bob and Tom Show. New this season on the Bob and Tom Television Network. Look, up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's the biggest set of jugs I've ever seen. <laughs> it's Shirtless Girl. <laughs> Posing as a topless dancer, showing off her pecs. No one knows her secret till she takes off her specs. She's Shirtless Girl. <laughs> shirtless Girl. <laughs> With her special powers, she gives the bad guys fits. She don't use no gun. She stops them with her tits. She's shirtless girl. Shirtless girl. Working in the chemistry lab one day, sophomore year, nothing seemed amiss. But that night, an amazing transformation took place. And the next morning, young Debbie Yabo woke to find... My God! I'm huge! I must dedicate these to fighting evil. <laughs> Little did Debbie know that years before on the planet Lactoid, a planet whose gravity was causing it to sag dangerously toward the sun, her father, Major Yabo, and Mother Teton sent their infant daughter, Areola, rocketing through the Milky Way to Earth. Knowing one day she'd become Shirtless Girl, <laughs> keeping the city of Metopolis safe. <laughs> okay, nobody move. Hand over all the money. It's Shirtless Girl! Not so fast, bad guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, like some team is gonna get a load of these. Huh? Oh, oh I can't run away. Hell, I can't even walk. <laughs> Thanks, shirtless girl. You're welcome, citizens. Don't touch those. Sorry. <laughs> Along with her fellow superheroines, Wonder Bra Woman, Bikini Spider Woman, The Flash, and the Green Horny, Shirtless Girl formed the Legion of Super Hooters. <laughs> Look, it's the cat signal. Some boob must need help. I better call my teenage bosom buddy A Cup and head to the wet cave. I know. I'll use the Hooter Scooter. <laughs> and once again, Shirtless Girl, you've kept Metopolis safe. Warm and snug and soft and bouncy. Uh, once again, defeating your arch enemy, the Jiggler. We are grateful. Thanks, Shirtless Girl. Yay! You're welcome, citizens. <laughs> Touch those. Sorry. <laughs> Come again next week for another titillating adventure of Shirtless Girl. I'm Shirtless Girl. Shirtless Girl. <laughs> shirtless Girl. Only on the Bob and Tom Television Network. <laughs> uh, I don't sound like that, do I? On the Bob and Tom Television Network. Yeah. Oh. Only when you do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whew. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Um, I got a feeling we might want to batten down our collective hatches this morning. Why? Nothing to do with Tom's mood. It uh, might be... Uh, well, we'll talk about it. There's Christy at the news desk. Hi, Chick. We're at uh, DEFCON 3. There's uh, Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. SOS, baby. SOS, baby. There's uh, Josh Arnold. Hi. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. And I'm I'm entertaining all white trash questions. So uh, right ahead. Yeah, oh, we're all, we're all yes. good. We're all good. Everything's okay. Calm down. Okay. Um, there is a uh, cellular outage hitting a few spots in the U.S. right now. Developing story, as they say. Uh, primarily, it looks like hitting AT and T phones, some T-Mobile, some Verizon users. And uh, a handful of uh, major cities right now. Atlanta, Chicago, Los Angeles, Houston, among others. Yeah. I woke up and my phone was on SOS. And I have AT&T service. Yes. For now. <laughs> and I thought, holy hell, I have not paid my bill <laughs> because I am 100% white trash. That's me too. So know. then I spent a half hour to 45 minutes trying to figure out if I paid my bill and yeah, this, that, and the other. There, there's a major issue right now. So we'll, I didn't notice we'll it until I couldn't get in the building. 
at and has a great uh, website where you go and it uh, has outage maps and a little map so. of where you yeah. are. So, yeah, you may be finding yourself in SOS mode right now. As they say, developing story. We'll be paying attention to that. Uh, <laughs> what else is going on uh, out there? Uh, Christy, what do we got coming up? Uh, coming up, we have a lot of great things. We have NASA is looking for people to live in a Mars simulator. Would you do that? No, but I'd like to nominate someone to go to the Mars simulator. <laughs> All right, I'll go. No, no, no. It's not you. No? Can you imagine Tom walking through the door of the Mars simulator? Well, I'm here. <laughs> Hello. Duh. I don't have time for that. Um, I it's, uh, There's part of this that intrigues me. Uh, yeah, after watching For All Mankind, I am a little intrigued by I like uh, I like that. I like that movie, The Martian, with Matt Damon, yeah. when he says I'm the... Most prolific potato grower on yep. Mars or on this planet or something. Is, right? Doesn't he have to poop into the? Yeah, that's oh, what he. Yeah, they're poop that's potatoes. That's a fertilizer. Yeah, they're fertil. Yeah, yeah. They're fertilizer. Well, where do you think fertilizer for your potatoes that comes you eat now from, comes Tom. from? A strange cow. Where would you rather eat a potato from a strange cow poop or Matt Damon's poop? <laughs> uh, Matt Damon. Matt better, Damon. It's not even a food. question. Right. Yes. Isn't there a problem with that? What do you mean oh, a problem? Human, oh, it's human, very unhealthy. Yeah. Human being fertilizer. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not sure. In any event, yeah, this NASA thing. You feed bodies to pigs. I have a lot of questions. Eat the pork. Okay. Yeah. Are you lo you're locked in there for a year, right? NASA looking for a group of people to live in its Mars simulator for a year. Here's the thing. So I'm just right, like right off the bat, I have questions. No, no, no. You can't just go come and go because then that spoils the experiment. I mean, I mean do you, get, you have to be there so for a certain amount of time. I, I just like, do you get President's Day off? No. Uh, that's my question. I mean, Christmas. Christmas, I Christmas, you're in the simulator. No, yes. You're, yeah, you're committed. The yeah. space agency put out a call for applicants to its second planned crew health and performance exploration analog mission. Right, been, right there. I've been training for this my whole life. I could do right this. Right there. Yeah, a, you could. What a With, fake name. What? The Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analyst. It's not, <laughs> a little bit ungainly. Boy, <laughs> since when are you against anything NASA does? No, I just think it's, they could they could have done better. <laughs> it's set to begin in the spring of 2025. The group of four volunteers will live and work. That might hurt you, Chick. They have to work. <laughs> so oh, right off the bat. Who the hell does hey, she hey. think she is? Keep her here. Eight after the Keep, hour. I'm leaving. I'm going to get my, something to hit her with. <laughs> Yeah, that's Inside true. Inside Mars Dune know. Alpha at NASA's G uh, Johnson Space Center in Houston for one year. So it's called the, so the simulator is Mars Dune Alpha. That's yes. the name of that? Mars Dune Alpha. You uh -oh. don't like that either? You don't like that name either. Yeah, nope. Just keep me away from that movie. I saw the preview and got bored. <laughs> Did you see the uh, the Onions uh, review of Dune Two? No, it no. couldn't be. As it, bad says, as the uh, it says it uh, says uh, fans relax. Uh, Dune Two starts right where you got bored with Dune One. <laughs> 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 oh God! <laughs> oh, okay. Jeez, could we just right. limit the amount of special effects and CGI in the world? No, but you certainly don't have to go to that. I believe me. Yeah, I, I won't. <laughs> I won't. I, don't, I, I get it. I just resent having to sit through the preview. <laughs> By, by the way, if you want to see the worst CGI you've ever seen, go see uh, uh, Argyle. Christy, even you'll have to admit that. That was some bad, bad yes. special effects. Mars Dune Alpha is a 1,700-square-foot, 3D-printed habitat designed to resemble the living conditions of a crew of astronauts that will land on the Martian surface in the future. Do you, can you get Netflix? I doubt it. That's what I would ask. Can I watch yeah. the 100 most uh, famous movies of all time? Mm -hmm. uh, I, With, I mean, that. that would be legit, wouldn't it? I mean, you, you can't. They, they have, they to, have be. to have some kind of entertainment. I mean, in theory, if you were on Mars, so. you could at least... Really? No, what would they have on Mars is exactly what should be in the simulator. That, no, that, but you, you, could, a DVD you, you could put, put, put 5,000 movies on a uh, something the yeah. size of Chapstick these well. days. But, I, I've heard they had Brigham shows every Tuesday night with uh, for stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> These four people? These not that well attended. That's the thing. There are four people. At least yeah. if, if there were, say, if there were 12, you're going to be able to find an ally. You've got four. It's like playing golf. You ever played golf with four dip uh, jerks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three others Can you and yourself. A, maybe the four of us should do this. Do you think four is an arbitrary number? They're doing... Can I bring Ace as my man? No, that would be five. By the way, I'd like to meet my butler, Ace. Our, Ace our, our Mars place. simulator is restricted. <laughs> well, Ace is... Perhaps you you referring to Ace as my man might want to turn that down a little bit. I meant like my man Friday. Yeah, yeah, I know what you meant. It's a literary reference. Calm down. Okay. I can't be criticized when people don't read books.
The experiment will help scientists understand. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm void of knowledge. I'm <laughs> totally ignorant. You caught me. If my mouth weren't full of beverage, I would <laughs> You totally caught me. Reacts Boy, am I stupid. The challenges of a deep space mission and applications are being accepted until April 2nd, so you still have time. Okay. And oddly enough, one of the things, you can't have a food allergy. That makes sense. Are, there, are they serving peanuts on the way to Mars? I thought. Well, well, there, there are many others. It's a long flight. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get to the story coming up. That's just I don't, and I don't, I, and I don't think the simulator has a, a Starbucks. No, Tom, so you would not in be a big to trouble. That. No flat whites for you, pal. On the simulator, you're gonna have to make your own because coffee is still out there, but you can't get to it. Mm. Oh, that's true. It's way out there. Isn't way. It? Out there. <laughs> I wonder if. <laughs> I wonder if when they get in the thing, if everything that they, they are going to eat and et cetera is already in there. They is have they, to be. They could to me, or yeah. they have to grow it. Right. But, I mean, they're not going to, like, have some, like, You're not gonna like, be able like, to like, do like a door prison dash. door where they <laughs> slide stuff under the door. And, no. 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 It's all up to you, man. It's like it's like you're on Mars. Right. Okay? And then I assume that there's a salary. Well, yeah, they're not going to make you do this for free. I mean, can you call home and stuff? Gee, why don't I? These are all fair questions. This is like a job interview. And then after yeah, you why don't you know, Christy? These are fair questions for <laughs> someone involved. You know with how you're feeling right now? Every day. I know. Uh, what are the uniforms? I know. How tall I know. is that guy? I know. Yeah, I know. uniforms. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. I, 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 now I may be out. I, you don't want to wear a uniform. On you Mars, to, you wear a uniform you wear now. A uniform you right have now. to wear a yeah, uniform. Yeah, but I chose it. Okay. Well, we'll get we'll get into this a little bit later on. Uh, right now, um, you know what? If they called me to be in the Mars uh, simulator, I would have to take two or three pair of my Raycon uh, earbuds. Oh, yeah. with yeah, well, you can get the other three people out of your head. That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, uh, optimized gel tips are uh, Raycon earbuds for the perfect. In ear fit. The earbuds are comfortable. They fit every ear ever made. And they actually stay in your ears, whether you're going for a run, walking the dog, dancing your favorite tunes, playing poker with your the three other people there in the Mars simulator. And Raycons are here for a long time. Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and believe it or not, amazing quality audio at about half the price. Uh, can I just interrupt for a second? Other I wanna, premium I wanna, audio I brand. I want to thank Raycon. I, we, I had to fly back. Uh, my recent trip, uh, two days early, because I had a sick little girl, and she had those Raycon headphones on and was quiet as a mouse, watching a little something on her iPad. Thank you, Raycon, for the peace. Everything was great. It's uh, it's the greatest way to travel. Get your Raycon earbuds. You'll thank me. Raycon's everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews, just like that one from Tom Griswold. And if they can please Tom, think about that for a moment. Yeah. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom. Get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up an episode of Mr. Obvious and uh, interesting news uh, from the uh, Apple world about um, your, uh, your iPhone when you drop it in the water. Okay? Uh, a little bit of an update on that weird thing. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bye. How will you know until you try? The thought of 
Little nookie makes you sick Just hold your nose and take a lick I wanna be Bob What more can I say? I would smoke and drink and play golf every day I'd have a lady for a caddy She could hold my balls while I play I wanna be Bob We wanna be Bob His name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. You know, sure. It's, uh, <laughs> not much of a car. You turn up the radio, the car stalls. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no rear view mirror because nothing will be behind you, believe me. <laughs> You can actually, you can actually tick off the Amish people. You know. <laughs> they go by and bull whip you. You know. Sorry, they don't have horns. Do I got places to go. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know this or not. If you ever get behind the Amish, you know those horse-drawn carriages. You know they usually have that orange triangle sign uh -huh. on the back. Mm -hmm. I found out if you fire a softball and hit that sign, you dunk the driver. <laughs> You're just losing. It's a great little highway thing to do. <laughs> this is Reno Collier, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Uh, morning, Bob and Tom Show. Good morning, Bob and Tom. Hi, good morning. Who's this? Roxanne. Hello, oh, Roxanne. Roxanne. Uh, How are you guys this morning? You fine. Guys rock. Fine. Thank you very much. What can we do for you? Oh, I was. you guys were talking about tattoos, and I got a tattoo when I was in the Navy. Oh, yeah? Uh, what is it? A USDA grade meat stamp on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choice. Well, choice you know. beef, huh? Yeah. Wow. It's awesome. Uh, I bet yeah. it is. What exactly does it say? It says USDA choice. On your buttocks area? Yes, it is. Where do is you it? get a lot of comments on it? Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> when yeah. I show it. Yeah. Uh huh. Do you, let me ask you this actually. Do you mention it to people before that? Do you say, hey, by the way, I've got a tattoo I want to show you, or do you just kind of spring it on them? No, that depends on how much I've been drinking. <laughs> I understand. Oh, yeah. No, mm -hmm. I don't spring it on people. No. Well, I think we should get together for some beers. What do you say, Bob? <laughs> Okay. Beers and some jerky. Uh, lots, 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 and and jerky. lots of jerky. Yeah, maybe your tattoos can meet. <laughs> That's right. All day, all night, all Bob and Tom. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you, buddy? Good. Oh, I'm big, very excited. Because You're really we, excited? Yeah, I got That's a right. couple great requests here. Um, this one is really going to make you guys mad. Um, oh. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> excited. If, uh, if uh, Let's see if you're listening out there. This uh, goes is going to go out to Denver, Colorado. Uh, Pat. 
I got your request. It's coming. It's going to take me a few minutes. Calm down. Now, uh, <laughs> me? Are you talking to me? No, Pat is the Pat oh, person I was in Denver. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Pat's just um, in there. What the hell's Poor what Pat you? thought he was being screamed at right. for no reason. You have totally lost me what you're doing over there. A listener named Pat. Hang on. Start the music again. What music? The Bree Joint music. Start the music. Oh, okay. Whoever, the, whoever yeah. the hell knows that. Give me a second. I, uh, are we going to start the whole break over again? Yes, we People have People ask, is this show live? Hi, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hi. Good morning. Uh, pa Pat's here, Christy and Josh and Ace. I'm Chick, and here's Tom. Hey, I got a letter. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, from someone named Patrick, not you, Mr. Oh, Godwin. Patrick. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you. we go. It's a special request for something I'm going to have to dig up. This will make all of you angry. It's not, not your favorite song. All right. Pat's in Denver, right? Yeah. And that's where Al Jackson is. Oh, that's right. Oh, Christ. Maybe, maybe Al knows him. I, don't know. I know how to pre-sell. <laughs> Listen to me. Al Jackson will be our guest coming I up. I know what's coming up. Also coming up, the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Oh, whoop dee doo uh, And I'm uh, very excited about that. And uh, <laughs> we have, a, we, I guess we do have some sporting news. Uh, things happening in the world of sports. I know we have an interesting survey out there about the NFL. Shut up. Alcohol. Don't say anything about <laughs> <laughs> what have you got over there? The Marks of a portable breathalyzer brand recently conducted a study to find out which NFL fans drink the most. If you're going to do it, we're going to do it. Hmm. BAC track, backtrack. It's a portable you can buy. Blood alcohol you know. content. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's say that you, you uh, drink a lot and uh, you're worried about blood alcohol content so you can have those <laughs> delivered to your home and carry them with you in your car. <laughs> To know what <laughs> to compare your results to the arresting oh, officer. Geez. Well, oh, sure. wow. <laughs> Somebody is going to try to do that. Yeah. Of course they are. Officer, I brought my own. <laughs> yeah. I got my own. <laughs> I my own. <laughs> anyway, uh, they shared the results after analyzing 28,000 unique blood alcohol content tests. Okay. Top five fan bases. The NFL the fans that drink the most were. The, the, it's not correct. I'll tell you why in a moment. Yeah, I, I agree it's not correct. Uh, from four to number one. <laughs> okay. The fourth highest uh, in highly intoxicated uh, fans. Falcons at number four. All right. Colts at number three. Steelers at number two. And the Titans are the drunkest NFL fans. Okay. Although I was uh, attacked, assaulted, cussed out at a Tennessee Titans Washington Redskins game at the time. And uh, I never had that happen in another NFL game. Huh. So maybe that has something to explain about it. Hmm. I at, was. Which, at which location? In Tennessee. Oh, okay. Uh, were you, were you wearing a... No, uh, no, I was not. And I was behaving myself. And we were behind by like a touchdown at halftime. And we came back and won the game. And I didn't say anything. And she turned around and looked at me, you think you're something, don't you? <laughs> One of those deals. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you went with your then wife. <laughs> Thank you, Ace. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh at my friend's You know what? Anymore. No, no, no. <laughs> Because Ace laughed, I'll let him talk to her. How's that? <laughs> Does she watch Big Brother? The fan bases that drink the least were uh, number five, the Chargers. Uh, number four, the Ravens. Number three, the Giants. Number two, the Commanders. That's not right. And number one, the Chiefs. Drink Chiefs fans drink the least, which kind of makes cold. sense. <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Hmm. Why would that make sense? Well, well, they're they're need to successful. Get they want to oh, watch and it, sober yeah. and they're enjoy. The but the Commanders. You know, Super Bowl 26 was quite a while ago, so, uh, and uh, they did not uh, canvas me, so that skewed their study, I would think. Yeah, I, I don't know if uh, the people participating in this, I, I just have a feeling that the drunkest people aren't going to play ball with the what BAC the Eagles? people. I always thought the Eagles were, yeah, or I would the think, Bills. Yeah, I would think the Eagles or the Bills would be the drunkest. But uh, yeah, but they do. That's why they do these surveys because they can't rely on your reasoning of I would think. <laughs> I mean, well, Tom would think the uh, Bills would be the drunkest. <laughs> All I mean, right, they're I, number one. Based on the behavior outside the stadium and the number of arrests, um, I, I mean, a lot of surveys. The the uh, methodology is probably somewhat suspect. What gives you the right to say that? I'm not going to say it about anything. I think uh, <laughs> a lot of these things, these surveys, I think that How many they... surveys have you said that about? All of them. Well, the answer is everyone. all of them. <laughs> um, the thing is, uh, the kind of person that's going to carry around one of these breathalyzer things. Because, I mean, it's, it's based on people who... Uh, who already you know, have them? I don't think... No, it's not. No, it's not. It's no, not I, I don't that. think the portable breathalyzer has anything to do they with the They gave survey. them to the fans, right? They gave breathalyzer tests to the fans. Yeah, they didn't. 
It BAC is. Track shared its results after analyzing 28,000 unique tests collected anonymously from their app. So I'm, I'm unclear on how they got them. But in, in any event. Where the hell is that? Just reading down the fine print. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> So you set us up is what you do. <laughs> so you can seem omnipotent is I what think, just happened. Uh, yeah. um, it does say that fans of the most successful teams are more likely to have a lower blood alcohol. Well, no shit. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, uh, how about this? What? No. Swifties drink more than Kansas City fans. <laughs> they did that. They took. They did that as part of their survey. Uh, that can't be... That's right at all. Swifties, the average ages are 11, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, what the heck? Well, well, I don't know. Oh, all of a sudden this <laughs> has been handed down by Jesus Christ himself <laughs> that this result is accurate. You call the others into question. <laughs> no, I call... God, them. I hate you. I call, I call all of these statistics into question. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Swifties are pretty drunk. <laughs> yeah, well, that sounds about right to me, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they did that, but uh, it's a good device. If you need yes, it, it is. have it among yeah. your friends, yeah. figure things out. I know for the Colts, uh, the, the BAC went way up when Andrew Luck quit. <laughs> They've been <laughs> kind of hammered until they finally got it together last year. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh, sorry. Uh, what else is going on in sports? Already discussions about possibly expanding the college football playoff again. I know. I hear you. We just had the story yesterday. They set up the 12-team playoff. That's brand new. They put that up. They released it. Here's what it's going to look like. Okay. Well, now a day after that process, which is today, <laughs> uh, they've decided, hey, how about 14 teams? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> is anybody else oh sick to death of this process? The <laughs> uh, 14-team bracket for 2026 is what they're thinking. Uh-huh. All right. So they're going to have, uh, there's four now. And now there's going to be 12 coming up. And now they think, hey, why not 14 for well, 26? At least they're going to ease us into it. Yeah. <laughs> and then why don't they do 68 or whatever? Like the, yeah. the they were like 300. Put them all in. There are 310 teams or so playing div Division One football. Put them all in it. it yeah. Would, yeah. Take, it would take two and a half why weeks. Why not? Yes. And let them all play. Now, all their schooling will be free, apparently. So we may as well let everybody in the playoffs as well. Right. I haven't been to class for six months. <laughs> Never teach our kids anything about adversity. <laughs> Everybody's in. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. in. Okay. Uh, Everybody gets a trophy. And it's not just the college football. You see that uh, they're thinking of going to uh, uh, 14 teams and letting four NBA teams in. Just, oh, just, boy, they're yeah, really yeah, opening the, Yeah, the four that don't make the NBA playoffs. Oh. Yeah. I feel bad for those, the NBA team. <laughs> They're going to do four. It's not even the same sport. <laughs> yes, isn't, that, isn't it crazy? <laughs> Speaking of different sports in the NBA teams, did you know that there's no NBA player who is a bigger fan of harness racing than Denver's Nikola Jokic? I did not. Did you know that? Can you and see harness it? racing particularly. With the har he likes harness <laughs> racing. With the little buggy behind and it? And I've seen videos of him where he's got his feet up on the thing. He does it? Yes! <laughs> Jesus. And he's like 7'5". Oh, my. And I this horse he... is like, what the hell's going on <laughs> yeah. here? I thought you meant he just watched it or bet no, on he, it. No, or... he, he owns horses, goes to tracks whenever he can, even accepted one of his MVP awards while riding around in a sulky at his oh. farm in Serbia. I heard a horse turn around and went, one at a time. <laughs> one at a time. Wow, that is such an odd hobby. It is. He knows the stretch run often decides races, and the same holds true in the NBA, he says, when they're entering the stretched run. That's how the Nuggets won the championship last year. Hmm. I don't know if this is a lucrative business for him, but he's made a bazillion dollars, so I would imagine. He's oh, then the odds yeah, worked he, out. He doesn't matter if he wins or horse. Do race. they have a picture of him in the suit? In the, uh, the outfit? What do they call the silks? What, is yeah. that what they call the... Uh, they do? For, I don't know for I, harness racing. I haven't seen a picture of that, but he I have seen him riding around in the sulky in his wow. T-shirt and his dad bod. Hmm. They how do you, call him the dad how do you bod spell bod, that? You know? How do you spell that? What? Sulky. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I'm going to say I-E, S-U-L-K-I-E. Okay. I don't know. Okay, but it's silk. It used to be my, uh, my nickname. What do you think it was? Well, because don't they wear silks, right? So, but the sulky, I think, is 
Do you wear silks on the sulky? I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like one of those <laughs> tongue I've never been twisters. To an actual horn. I think they do. Right? Said wear silks on the sulky. All All right. Right. I don't know. What sunset. Harness racing. I don't know what the sulky it. refers to. <laughs> Does is it the horse? Is it the is a little it the little cart? I thought it was. The, it's the thing with the wheels, right? Is it or is it the whole unit or a sulky? S U L K Y ah, is used. Really? It's a lightweight cart with two wheels attached to the horse by the use of a harness. Here, here. Yes. If you don't have a horse, it's really it's useless. It's hard. Unless you get somebody to pull you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but if you yell Too somebody, weird. hey, give me a sulky, he won't come back with a horse. He'll just come back with a sulky, I would think. Okay. I would have thought it was an IE, too. Well, that's very exciting. What a weird story. <laughs> I like that very much. Dude, I can get you a sulky today. How much? How much? What are they going for? Um, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Is this an actual we can use it during a race? Because I'm going to compete, baby. I'd, I'd guess 2K. Oh, no. It doesn't say a price. Oh, well, you know what my dad said. If you have to ask oh, about how much it costs, you, you can't, can't afford it. Yeah, you're right. Dude, the seat is not very substantial on, no. a, on a lot of these. No, it's ridiculous. Him, uh, Google Jokic in a sulky. They're not so much carts anymore as they're just the frame and right. a tiny, tiny seat. Right. Like <laughs> teeny, tiny seat. Oh, yeah. The less they weigh, the better. So it's like a bicycle seat? Yeah, pretty much. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Could it slip right up inside the uh, jockey? Yeah, Do they still call him a <laughs> jockey? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah, cool. pretty interesting. Do they get um, just spattered with mud uh, as they're... Oh, they would have to, yeah. And other things, I bet. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, no, I do. That's where you were at, and we knew. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here come the... You're so coy uh, now. A horse, a horse might poo. And now oh, we really? present you the winner. The uh, We apologize for how... Bashatted he is. <laughs> <laughs> I love that word. <laughs> How would you know? By the way, I, I, you can take out the mouth, mouth guard, Pedro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Could we move on? I've often wondered that myself. Charlie Woods. You like that name? He's going to be the big name in golf. Yes, it's Tiger's son, and he's taking the first step toward trying to play on the PGA Tour. He's 15 years old. Sorry you didn't have a childhood, Charlie. In the <laughs> free qualifier. I'm <laughs> sure you would have loved to play with friends and stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, no. He's in the pre-qualifier right, today. We can pick up a waitress like that. <laughs> you think he likes Waffle House? <laughs> <laughs> but poor kid. He's 15. Yeah. Can we leave him alone? For yeah, we need to leave You brought it up. <laughs> He already looks 30. Good luck. This is the pre-qualifier for the PGA, and it's called the Cognizant Classic. Ooh. Why? They're, they're, not, they're not calling it the pre-GA? I, what, what are they doing? Yeah, they're not doing well. C-O-G-N-I-Z-A-N-T, the Cognizant Classic. All right. The leading 25 players advance to the Monday qualifier. Only four players get into the tournament. Charlie, no stranger to the spotlight, of course. Him and Daddy have been playing together and... Father-son proams for quite a while. It's the only time he sees his father, Charlie Woods, <laughs> old Chucky Woods, the Chuck, wood, the woodchuck. They Chuck call Wood. him. Oh, nice. <laughs> the wood. That Chuck. was the name of the uh, ventriloquist on soap, Chuck and Bob. That's right, mm -hmm. Chuck, Chuck wood. wood. Chuck Wood. Chuck and Bob. Or um, maybe that was no, Dave Chuck, Strassman. Chuck was. Wood was, is the comedian. Oh, Dave well, Strassman. The, the one. Uh, but it was Bob and Ch Chuck and Bob. The ventriloquist yeah. on soap. Infinitely better than Dave Strassman. I don't think he so. He was here, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. He's, he's a big, big in Australia of all. Yeah, good. He can stay there. <laughs> <laughs> what did ever do to you? Uh, spit on you. Uh, the time, <laughs> oh, uh, the time now. Uh, had his uh, ventriloquist dummy. Ha yeah, hid behind the ventriloquist dummy when he squirted water in my face. You remember that morning? God, I'm so glad you can't carry a grudge. <laughs> <laughs> I've been at the feet of a master. Before. <laughs> oh I want to uh, play this request for Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, Nikki. Nikki, sir. Um, a little bit of something from um, Mr. Obvious, kind of appropriate, I think, right now. Hello, and welcome <laughs> to the Mr. Obvious Show. I am your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's take a call. Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hello, is this Mr. Obvious? Speaking. Uh, hi, Mr. Obvious, uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Uh-huh. Please, how may I help? 
Well, Mr. Obvious, uh, see, I bought this cabin. Uh, it's up there in uh, Frigid Falls, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Good for you. Oh, it's it's fabulous. I got it got it back in uh, early December. And, uh, man, it was just perfect. I, this cabin, I mean, this was my lifelong dream, you know. Now, do I detect a note of sorrow in your voice, caller? Man, you are some kind of perceptive. Did something happen to your cabin, caller, please? <clears throat> well, yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that, uh, Mr. Obvious. Uh-huh. Somebody stole it. <laughs> Someone stole your entire cabin. Oh, apparently so, Mr. Obvious. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I went back up there this last weekend, and uh, it was gone. Now, caller, there must be some sort of logical explanation. An entire cabin can't just disappear. Well, I wouldn't think so, but uh, I, I sure as heck can't figure it out, Mr. Obvious. Caller, don't take offense, but are you sure you remember where your cabin is located? <laughs> oh, yes, sir, Mr. Obvious. I'm real good with directions. Uh, I, I don't know if you know this. I was a, I was a navigator in the war. Oh, which war, caller? Uh, you know, the, the big one, the one against uh, West Vietnam. Um, <laughs> caller? Uh, yeah, Mr. Obvious. That, that was North Vietnam. Huh. Uh, I guess that explains the lack of anti-aircraft fire. <laughs> Please, uh, back to the cabin, caller. You went back to Minnesota this weekend. Right, right. And your cabin was gone. Uh, exactly. Did you talk to anyone up there who might have seen anything? Well, well I talked to one guy. Uh, he, he was out boating. Uh, mm -hmm. He said he didn't see a thing. You said boating? Right. Is yeah. there a lake where your cabin's located? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Obvious. Caller. Uh-huh. Did you fish at your cabin when you were there in February? Oh, I sure did, Mr. O. It was mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. uh, it caught me a big old mess of fish. You did, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. all, all I did, I, I cut a hole right there in the floor of my cabin. <laughs> and uh, there, there was fish swimming down there all over the place. Uh, <laughs> it was great. Uh, Caller, uh, you, uh -huh. you cut a hole in the floor of your cabin, dropped a line, caught a fish? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Caller, did, did you see the lake in February? You know, that's the weird part, Mr. Obvious. Um, I, I didn't even know there was a lake there, you know, uh, mm -hmm. in February. Yeah. I, yeah, caller, how big was this uh, cabin of yours? Oh, it was, it was pretty small. Just just room for me and, you know, maybe one other guy, but uh, not, not much else. I've really. got, got a theory, caller. Well, what's that? Do you know where your uh, stupid cabin is? Well, no, that, that's why I was calling you to figure out where somebody would have taken my cabin. It's at the bottom of the lake, caller. You had a nice fishing cabin. You didn't cut a hole in the floor of the cabin. For Pete's sake, you cut a hole in the ice the cabin was sitting on. When the ice melted, your cabin sank. It, it sank? It sank. <laughs> so what are, you, are you saying like it was built on a quicksand or no, something? No, in warmer weather, water <laughs> melted. Your cabin's at the bottom of the lake. You were supposed to drag it off the ice when the weather started getting warmer. Ice fishing cabin? Yeah. Huh. Uh, I never made the connection. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's a shame. I, I just bought a brand new living room suit for the place. Join us again next time. Not to even mention a big screen TV. <laughs> On the Mr. Obvious Show. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it's not, none of those winters, not as cold as they once were. Maybe, no. be, yeah, you, your cabin may be gone. Uh, so sad. Thank you, Mr. O. Thank you, Nikki, for that fine request. What do you got coming up, Chick? got world records and a fish a really big fish but it might not weigh as much as you think it weighs yeah again cheating again, again in that world who knew and a, hey. and a toy car i love toy cars do you i like toy cars the little ones the big ones the biggest ones you can ride on the tractors the oh i love and this one goes 90 miles an hour whoa yeah uh, right now i want to uh say yeah, how about a story how about a big kick in the butt in the uh, kick in the your food butt, how about that? Uh, you're uh, you got the blahs because you're eating the same stuff over and over and over. Hello Fresh is a really good idea. Uh, save yourself some money, save yourself a ton of time by checking in with Hello Fresh. What's it all about? Well, they do the grocery shopping for you. They uh, ask you to choose from more than 40 recipes each week. Pick what you like. They'll uh, box it up for you, send it to you. And um, here's the thing: they've done all the measuring. So uh, you just put it together, and they give you cards with the recipe and photographs. So um, it's kind of idiot-proof, and you're going to have restaurant-quality food significantly cheaper than having food delivered. And a great food, and, and whatever your food uh, lifestyle might be, if it's uh, vegan, they got you covered. If it's good old-fashioned comfort food, they certainly have that. Christy, what are you looking at? Oh, this is wonderful. The one-pan chicken enchilada verdes with Mexican cheese blend and hot sauce crema. Oh, if you like Mexican food, this is an easy, easy prep, easy cleanup, protein smart, ready in 30 minutes. 
and it's just delicious from Hello Prep. And speaking of protein, you can swap proteins. They really make it easy for you. Just check out the yeah. menu. Go to HelloFresh.com. More than 40 to choose from each week. By the way, a lot less food waste, and that's really important. And how about this free breakfast for life? Will you keep that subscription active in each box? A breakfast as a little bonus. So you go to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That's one free breakfast item uh, per box with an active subscription. Once again, it's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Give yourself a uh, get, get out of your rut. Have some great food, restaurant quality food, and sometimes just a few minutes of prep and pop it in the oven, depending on what it's what you got going there. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Uh, also, uh, coming up, wow, that's an interesting place to take a shortcut. Why are all those gravestones toppled over? We'll find out. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24 7. Get all the info in the VIP. What's the, what's the exact correct name of this? The Pickle Dog. The Pickle Dog. The Pickle Dog. Okay, now, well, we are all Pickle Dog virgins. So, Bob, why don't you go first, and right. I'll do the play-by-play. -play. Bob, your right hand, you're supposed to put your left hand behind your head <laughs> before you... Oh, no! Pickle Dog down! Okay, now Bob Bob is now chewing the Pickle Dog. He's about to give his analysis and his review. Uh, Bob. It's delicious. It is delicious. It gets a thumbs up from Bob. <laughs> it's very messy. Are they going to be able to show this very on the TV messy. show? I know. It's <laughs> John. Eat it. It's very messy. Bob, your thoughts? John, I, I shot my hot dog. <laughs> uh, right, mm. out of the, uh, right out of the pickle. Out of the canoe. Well, well some, pi some people get a little excited when they have their first pickle dog. Well, it's you know, I, I did, and I, I made a, I've created a huge, <laughs> huge mess over here that actually looks somewhat like a porn shoot. <laughs> <laughs> here remember the days when i was a running back in the nfl well if you're on your feet all day like i was you get the struggle the secret is orange insoles their insoles are like magic for your feet and body they'll help you kick hip pain sore feet and lower back discomfort to the sidelines feel better do more with orange insoles bofa on the front what bofa on the front what are we talking about D's nuts on the back. The new t-shirts. What do you think? What are they gonna say again? Bofa on the front. And then on the back. D's nuts! <laughs> and another t-shirt. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Having just been. Wait a minute, hold it, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh I do very well. Uh, but I don't know what on the back yet. What do you think? Are you recording this? Baldwin has also been charged with involuntary manslaughter in a separate case. Former President Jimmy Carter has another distinction to his name. The 99-year-old is the first of the U.S. presidents to be honored with an official White House Christmas ornament while still living. That ornament was unveiled Wednesday and is the latest in a yearly series issued by the White House Historical Association. Carter's ornament is shaped like an anchor in nod to his Navy service. He remains in hospice care at his home in Plains, Georgia. And China is planning to send a new pair of giant pandas to the San Diego Zoo after a few years in which nearly all of the iconic bears in the U.S. were sent home. Megan Owen of the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance says the zoo's been working with China and expects to get a pair by summer's end if permits are approved. The black and white bears have long been a symbol of friendship between U.S. and China, and in November, the Chinese president raised hopes that California might get more pandas. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And that's your news.
I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. This man performed the first figure skating triple jump in competition. <laughs> Dick Button. And um, when he would commentate, he would say, look at that. Oh, he yeah. especially oh, like to yeah. watch the uh, women skaters. The, your Peggy Fleming's yours. Oh, he did? Hmm. Oh, by the way, what's a green in skates? What? Peggy, Peggy Flem. Flem. <laughs> That's one of the classics if you know who Peggy Fleming is and you're you digging an Alka Seltzer right now. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. Hey, this is Frank Caliendo and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. The, the bass player's wife was in the kitchen mm -hmm. doing the dishes and she's listening to her son play with his trains out in the living room. Mm -hmm. And uh, she hears him out there playing and he, she hears him say, uh, all right, all you a-holes, get off the train. <laughs> uh -huh. And the rest of you a-holes, get on the train and put your luggage under the seat. Well, she runs out there and she says, we don't talk like that in this house. Go to your room. Mm -hmm. So she leaves him in his room for two hours. Ooh. That's a long time. Yeah. yeah. So she brings him out and he says, can I play with my trains again? And she says, well, okay, have you learned your lesson? He says, yeah, I think so. So he, She goes back to the kitchen and he's playing with his trains. And then she hears him say, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for riding with us today. Hope you had a pleasant trip. <laughs> and the rest of you boarding the train, hope you have a nice day with us today. And those of you pissed off about the two-hour delay, talk to the bitch in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. Some might bug, some might spritz, but for me, it's Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Thanks for joining us with us in the studio, comedian Billy Gardell. <clears throat> now, for for many of the comedians who visit, all you have to do is tell them that there's porno there, and suddenly they're they. Uh, well, I, I can't. I'm married. I can't even have it in the house. Mm -hmm. She'll find it. She, it's every time I walk in the house and I'm doing something wrong, I hear that music from Law and Order. It's like, gong, gong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I didn't do nothing. I just, I'm so scared of her. I'm just scared of her. Really 1.27 yeah. p.m., the Gardell household. <laughs> gong, gong. gong, gong. She sli and she's Southern, so she'll slip a sandwich in front of me, Dad. Uh-huh. And then I did it. What? Oh, Wait a minute. What? <laughs> I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right. Well, check out. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I I'm making love to this woman, yeah. and then all of a sudden she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first, everybody. Safety <laughs> first. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob and my God. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. <laughs> There's Pat Godwin. Yes, I am. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. And evidently, it's triple Ace Cosby joke of the day. That's right. I'm Chick, and here's Tom. We did a scientific survey and decided <laughs> that we wanted to have uh, three Ace Cosby jokes of the day today, so I'm very excited, and I thought we should begin right now. Rules that yeah. sexy man with a deep voice. Mm. Ace Cosby. Joke of the day. Why did the uh, tiny soccer player take a shower? Why? <laughs> he was a little messy. Oh. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. Sponsored by Sleep Number. Save 50% during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at a Sleep Number store near you or sleepnumber.com. Uh, Pat is a, 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 what is it, Lionel Messi joke? Oh, the big uh, star. Miami, uh, yeah. He's, he's, a, and, and he's not very, I don't think he's 5'5". Five, five. He's really? a tiny little guy, yeah. 5'5", five, 5'7". Five, five, so he is a little messy. Yeah. He is Doesn't a little he messy. Doesn't he pronounce it Lionel? I don't know. I always just say Lionel Messi. I say Lionel Messi, too. They call I could be, I, like the train? I'm I often wrong. be wrong. They call him the train. I've is, always heard, just heard Messi. I've never heard him yeah. uh, called Lionel. Is he, is he the one with the horrible statue? It looks nothing like uh, No, that's uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was rough. <laughs> yeah, um, now we it looked have... like part of it melted before they got it. <laughs> um, uh, tomorrow on the show, Dusty Slay, our in-studio guest. Good man. Tremendous comedian. Certainly sure looking forward to seeing Dusty. Um, speaking of comedians, Al Jackson coming up today. But right now, we return to the sports desk here in the Bob and Tom program with Mr. Chick McGee. Uh, is this a record? Well, by gosh, I'm going to call it a record if it's not a, a record. Stupid world record. 106-year-old man from South Carolina has received a high school diploma. Wow. WPD uh, P, uh, TV station reports. to the wrong address? 
Mr. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hmm? You're not going to even give the call letters? No. Why not? Because I don't want to. <laughs> you go ahead. You can. WPDE. Mr. Fred Allen Smalls <laughs> received his diploma from Georgetown High School in a recent ceremony. Oh, Smalls' nice. granddaughter, Ms. Berdilla Kennedy, also, also a very old woman. Yes. <laughs> so this guy's 106? Good for him. It's great. Very old man, all son, also old man. Where's he applied to college, you say? Yeah, he's going to Europe first. Said he, oh, he's, 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 gap, he's taking a gap year? Yeah, gap year. That's <laughs> hilarious. Um, <laughs> the granddaughter worked hard for more than a year to put it all together, she said. Uh, explained her grandfather, attended school. Wait a second. <laughs> Took him a year? Who's the dick that said, why did, why did they go, yeah, let's do this next week? The guy's 106. The clock is ticking. Well, but other people work very hard to have a high school diploma. And just because you've gotten to 106 doesn't mean you, you get had, one. This guy worked his whole life, raised a family. So wait a minute. He, he didn't go years. back to school to get it. They just sent it to him. You know what? I think you subscribe to Pat Oswalt's theory. He said if you get to the age of 100 in this country, you should be allowed to commit one murder a year. Oh. I didn't oh. know that's what he said, but I'm right. I'm in with him right there. I'd, <laughs> I'd, go, I'd, I'd go with uh, 72, frankly. So he didn't go back to school. This was just an honorary diploma. Yeah. She, she explained her grandfather attended school in Plantersville in a building in the woods without a name. Well, who cares? What do you mean, who cares? This is a great old so man. So many people did back then. I think Pat might have a song coming up about this school uh, in the woods with no name, I think. Oh. Would that be, <laughs> would that be possible? Oh, my God. Is the school in the desert? Yeah. Uh, he completed grades one through five in the woods without a name. And when he was a teenager, Smalls and his buddy, Abe, moved to Mullins, Lincoln. Right. <laughs> to seek employment in the tobacco industry. There he attended Mullins High School and completed the eighth grade before moving to Washington, D.C., where he worked until retiring in 1960. Tobacco so, is a cash crop. He retired in 1960? <laughs> Whoa. Jesus. I hope he had great <laughs> retirement planners. <laughs> and wow. now he's achieved his... You would have uh, thought maybe he yeah. could have gone for the GED back <laughs> back yeah. in 1960. Are you going to have enough money to retire and live comfortably for the next 70 years? <laughs> hey, did, by the I way, have four reverse mortgages. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do people who have a GED... They're raping me! <laughs> do, do people have a, a GED, do they... Do they have like a reunion? They get together once a year. Hey, remember that that Saturday we got together and took that test? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Remember that guy over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what? <laughs> they don't. You got to do what you got to do. Yes. For them. Uh, yeah, oh, no, no, I think I'm glad they gave this guy the degree. <laughs> I'm not. He didn't I'm earn not. it. I'm not. He didn't earn it. You're right. He learned it. Is the, 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 <laughs> the school of hard knocks. <laughs> no, he didn't deserve it. No, he didn't. And who cares at this point? They, they probably gave us. He probably a, doesn't even know what it is. What do I have to do, lady, to get you out of my office? <laughs> get my grandfather in. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah, now yeah. leave. Hey, Grandpa got the diploma. Yeah, look, he's wearing it as a bib. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know. Well, most right. got apple sauce most, on let's it. face it, most high school graduates uh, this year they can only graduate if they can vape. <laughs> so this guy, oh. he's too old school. Yeah. I'm not smoking him, you queer. And also. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> While Tom's at it, don't forget to... Sticking it to the youth. Oh, stay, stay off Tom's lawn while you're at it. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure the guy's a great guy. How old is he again? 106. I heard that uh, both presidential candidates may pick this guy as their VP. <laughs> <laughs> now there's He calls a them nice, whippersnapper. A nice joke. <laughs> yeah, Did you hear about right. this guy's... Oh, uh, what is it called? He's doing a senior prank. Is he is. He? It's going to die. Oh. <laughs> well, he got us. Uh, I thought he was taking a nap. Up? Yeah. yeah. I think this, did you see this story about Jimmy Carter? They have announced that for the first time ever, a former president who's still alive will be honored as the official White House Christmas ornament. What? what? Yes. They're making this man. They're going to hang him ornament? from a tree? They're going to make him a, an ornament. That's right. Oh. No, it was an ornament that's unveiled, and every year they do a yearly series issued by the White House Historical oh. Association. There are ornaments with his face on them or something. Yes. I see. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> hang him on the tree. No, um, I, I just know they celebrated such as a celebration can be. It's 99th birthday. And for he's been in hospice for a year. Yes. Carter's ornament is shaped like an anchor and nod to his Navy service. But it's the first of the U.S. presidents to be honored with an official White House Christmas ornament while still living. Oh, I, okay. Oh, I, yeah. By the time Christmas comes. Yeah, maybe 
yeah. That, I want to put an asterisk on that. But uh, <laughs> hey, look, I, I don't blame me. I would never have brought that up. <laughs> oh. Oh, I think you, would. you just said it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just thinking it out loud. <laughs> Actually, I thought that too when I read it. Uh, well, there are probably people out there that collect all the. Oh, White I'm House sure Christmas they are ornaments. every year. Uh, yeah. Poor sad bastards. Sure. Sad bastards. I got every ornament. There's my of White House Christmas tree. Christmas White House tree in 1973. <laughs> What's, I, cool. I, I, why is that sadder than you having? I beg your pardon. <laughs> 57 years of Redskins crap. I, I, I would uh, I, I admit. Yes or no? True or false? Do you own? Huh? Or have you ever owned? Now, or have you ever been the owner of a uh, Washington Redskins or Commanders, now with their new name, uh, a Christmas ornament? I can tell you I don't have a Commanders ornament, but I do have, I think there are a Redskins ornament around. I think I have a Joe Theismann ornament around here somewhere. Mm. But yes, the answer is yes. Yeah. See, that's cool. Yes, but it's not on a tree. We need an updated uh, Tom ornament. I It's very ceremonious at our house every year. You put up the Tom ornament? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, when the break starts, I'll write that. I can get. I got an idea for a new one. Yeah, I think, oh, you, should, good. I think you should do that. Because it's a ceremony in my house, too. Every year, I, I take it home and <laughs> throw it into the, into the fireplace and <laughs> watch it shatter Aww. and burn. Every year, I give away, uh, for Christmas, <laughs> I give you guys something with my picture. Every year, I pull the ornament out of my ass and put it up on the tree. <laughs> oh. Oh. I wear it all year. No. We really do. We're, That's we right there now. All year. all year long. Say the same hook photograph in or hook every out. year. The most popular gift of all the ones I've ever done. Oh, uh, and, and, I, what, and I, what do you base this on? I know well, what you're going to say. I know what it is. What is it? Dog Toilet bowls. Paper. Do, the dog, it's dog it's bowl. Dog, dog oh. bowls. Everywhere I go, people ask me where my dog bowl. Can I can't I believe it. I have a Tom dog bowl, they say. Can I get one of those, please? <laughs> I would love a Tom dog bowl. No, I'm enjoying yeah. this. I've never heard two asses <laughs> speaking <laughs> simultaneously. I tell you what. Uh, you know, I had my dog bowl so long, it licked the paint off of the yeah, center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it was What a pleasure to meet you. Yes. May I have a dog bowl? Our dog, our dog bowls now are a faint outline of your lovely Our visage. dog bowls now are a faint outline of your lovely visage. I can get them in metal. <laughs> metal? I've been doing some research. Yeah. They have metal. Uh, now, I've also found, I, they're actually, I can get... Um, <laughs> There is a place that will make a small a sculpted um, um, insertable uh, <laughs> uh, things for butt plugs. butts. Are you talking about butt plugs? Are you going to Tom, I need you to know that face? if... Uh, Tom Griswold butt plugs. <laughs> if you make those for us... Let me tell you something. Don't you say something like Tom Griswold butt plugs unless you intend <laughs> on coming through. I've okay? done the research. Oh, you need no. to know if you give me a butt plug with your face on it, I'm a using it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think for a minute it's not going to get you. Oh my gosh. So that's the, it's, a, it's a practical gift. Yes. Uh, okay, oh, now. man. Let's see now. Um, I'm sorry, is that sports? No. World okay. record's coming up. Okay. Well, I, you know, this guy that's 106 getting his... Uh, it's sweet. Of it, course. Of course. These things are always The sweet. best thing about yes. this, if you see a picture of this guy... He looks 106. Yeah, but he's got a top Every hat. Every year of it. it. No, I love this. Come here, Josh. He has a top hat? He's got a top hat. He's wearing, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, not a tux, but uh, a morning coat and tails and a white bow tie. Isn't that great? That is great. And this yes. guy's worth this whole life. He deserves. He's uh, not in a cap and gown? For God's sake. That's cool. He's, he's special. Yeah, this is. he's got a top, a big top. When's the last time he saw someone in a top hat? That just looks um, great. Yeah, good Classy point. guy. Good for you, sir. Congratulations. Yeah, classy guy. Where's a top hat? Yeah. <laughs> Could I pull off a top hat, do you think? Sure, why not? Yes. Uh, maybe, wear, maybe wear it here with headphones. If we could get well, a suit. I don't know how you're going to use your headphones around them, but that no, right, the famous top hat wearers right now, the most famous probably is what, Slash? Probably, Mr. yeah. Mr. Peanut. Dave oh, the one alive now? Yeah. Dave, Dave Lincoln, Lincoln, Mr. Peanut, Dr. Slash. Demento. Yeah, that'd be a good one for connections, by the way. <laughs> Have uh, D D Dr. Demento, Abraham Lincoln, <laughs> Slash, and Mr. Peanut to try All to figure out the power. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I bet they use that. Uh, right now, I want to do a quick quiz. Uh, Christy, don't give me that look. By the way, that's a beautiful jacket you're wearing today. Thank you. You know what it looks like? <laughs> it, uh, it looks like a jacket a ventriloquist dummy would wear. <laughs> All right, here's the thing. That's, Take your hand up my ass and I'll talk for you. Wait, Everyone's wait. right here. Like, it is It is very nice, it but is. chick's it dead is. on. It's, it, 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 has, it has subtle, really wide, does. vertical stripes. Yes. So it has that kind of circus feel that chick is. Yeah. I don't care. I'm, it's I'm, all fun. I'm, I'm so when you get home every day, do you... Just go to Andrew, your man, and just start sobbing. <laughs> no. I thought his name was Anthony. No, it's oh, Andy. No, Andrew. Andy? 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 Well, I, I've got a question about Andrew. We like your jacket from the Steve Harvey collection. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> no, uh, you just got a new uh, sleep number smart bed. You got the big oh, boy. You got the, the, the you got the king. Size. Never had a king size bed in my life because I never had. A king I never well, have. Well, Christy's not so a excited. large person, but now the uh, the point here is that uh, Andy likes a nice firm mattress. Yeah. So we understand he sets his side of the mattress at what? One hundred. That's right. Just and then, like Chick. No, no, no! Don't mention me. I'm yesterday's news <laughs> as far as sleep number beds you had go. Your chance. <laughs> you still have you now, uh, Christy on your side of the bed. You set it at what? What setting is it? Thirty five. Okay, that's because it's a smart bed, and at the touch of a button, you can adjust it so you're not stuck with the same firmness level like you are with a regular mattress. And by the way, don't believe me, ask J.D. Power, the independent ratings association known as J.D. Power, rated the Sleep Number smart bed number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. So check out the Sleep Number store and find out what I'm talking about. They have perfected adjustable firmness. They call it a smart bed because the bed actually tells you things you can do to get better sleep and uh, get quality sleep. And it's, of course, very important. You can be smart as your smart bed right now because the President's Day sale is continuing a staggering 50% off right now. The Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed. See what I'm talking about. And once again, check out the J.D. Power ratings. Just go to jdpower.com slash awards to find the Sleep Number store. It's very simple. You go to sleepnumber.com slash BT show. Get the details about some very limited special edition financing right now from the Sleep Number store. Sleepnumber.com slash BT show. You've been thinking about it. It's the most important piece of furniture in your house. You got to get some good rest. So get a Sleep Number bed. I know I love mine. Coming up, we have uh, the Mars Simulator. They're looking for people to volunteer to get locked up for a year. Also, a great story about that disco bathroom and uh, something fun that happened in a disco bathroom. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi. By the way, parents, if you have kids and you have the minivan, make sure there's at least two TV screens in the back of that minivan because God forbid your child might be forced to use their imagination for 20 minutes on the way to elementary school in order to keep them busy. I say much better. Every single moment be spoon-fed by the video God that runs their life. Gee, I wonder where ADD comes from. <laughs> I can't possibly imagine. I mean, we kept the boy entertained 24 hours a day his entire childhood in front of a television with a remote control and a game console. All of a sudden, he can't pay attention. <laughs> oh, oh, great Zeus. Why have you done this to our child? Please. Send uh, down some of your pharmaceuticals as uh, which to cure the lad. <laughs> Otherwise, we might be forced to spend time with him, and uh -huh. frankly, he's kind of an idiot. <laughs> and while you're at it, send me something for my fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome and myriad of other ailments the medical community has convinced me that I have because as an American, if I don't feel good 24 hours a day, well, there must be a pill I can pop into my face and change my brain chemistry to constantly feel better. Or maybe, and I'm just spitballing here, oh great one, maybe you're not supposed to feel good all the time. Maybe it's supposed to be a struggle to get out of bed every once in a while, <laughs> and in doing that, it's how you become a better person. When you hurdle that part of your life, uh -huh. then you just create this incredible sense of entitlement, which is what I complain about the rest of the world having. Maybe this ADD thing is kind of overblown. Maybe it's supposed to be harder to read something than it is to watch it on TV, and we have these big, fat, drug-addicted kids that are basically embracing all the worst parts of Elvis Presley. <laughs> We're not doing them any favors. Maybe, maybe, oh great one, the rest of the world isn't the problem. Maybe it's me. Yeah. By the way, that bit is entitled Parenting Advice from a Guy That's Never Had Kids. I think it'd be hard to learn the banjo by yourself. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think that would be the only way to learn the banjo. I am well. legitimately now the owner of a banjo. Is that right? Yeah, I need to get it in here and see How if How did that uh, happen? My dad died. Oh! <laughs> Thanks. So, Ladies and gentlemen. So I, I took his banjo. The amazing, the amazing, we need some sound, you know. The amazing Pat Goddard. Ladies and Never gentlemen. Never ask a question you don't know the answer to. Yeah. Here we go. I totally knew the answer. I knew the answer. We'll That's why I knew not to ask. Trust me, there's no one laughing harder than my dad right now. <laughs> if he were able to laugh, but he can't because he's dead. So, I would so how'd, you come by oh, that band, how'd you come by that banjo again, Josh? Well, my dad died, and it was just laying there. 
<laughs> so I thought, well, instead of throwing it away, maybe I'll go ahead and take it. Did your dad play? He did when he was younger, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought he did when he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. There you I, go, Josh. Uh, yeah, I should have oh. said that. Uh, okay. okay, well. The uh, Tony Danza, and uh, you know, I was like, Johnny did some better, motor. And then, oh, he would, and, you know, he, he would always get, you know, anytime somebody from the old neighborhood came around, he was always more Italian suddenly. Yeah. Like, you know, mm -hmm. it was a like, Johnny did some better, motor. And then, Mrs. Rossini. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, you turned on the Italian for that? <laughs> Jerry, when he had his talk show, I, that, that's what I find amazing about this country is, you know, that Tony Danza had a talk show. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. At one point, and his questions were like, you know, he'd have somebody on and be like, so, you guys do radio, huh? Are you yeah. talking to microphones? <laughs> <laughs> and people hear you in various places all over the country? That's amazing. <laughs> it's like bewildered by the simplest of yeah. things. Like, Man, it's incredible. I, I had no idea there was such technology out there. <laughs> What's that? A cell phone? Isn't that do the same thing but only with one other person? <laughs> Radio is like a giant cell phone. <laughs> reaching millions and millions of people. Uh -huh. yeah. But I was doing that. I was, uh, I was is, doing his, is his talk show over? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, think I, I gotta believe so, Tom. <laughs> they put it to yeah. that. Kiwi Rogers is our guest. <laughs> Kiwi, uh, having just met you, I can um, guess you're obviously an, an athlete. Yeah, I work out a little bit. They have the whole thing where you pump weights and all that stuff. Yeah. You gotta have a cardiovascular man. Mm -hmm. but I was playing basketball the other day. They made me guard the worst dude on the other teams. <laughs> it was a fat dude wearing thongs. Right? You know, <laughs> standing on the court smoking a cigarette. You know I was embarrassed. <laughs> And you couldn't keep up I with him. I couldn't keep up with him. <laughs> <laughs> I got involved with that aerobics. Don't like aerobics. Man, that's too much like sex. It aerobics? Is. Yeah, you sweat, muscles hurt, and then you got a woman up there telling you you're not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Hi, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Well, hello, Chick. Christy Lee here in a swell jacket. Thanks. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Can I throw your voice for me? Uh, there's Ace Crosby. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Now, once again, your contention is that Christy looks like a ventriloquist dummy today. <laughs> Only so because I've why been don't looking you, at... Why don't you have her... Because I'm the size of Have one, her drink I'm... a glass of water, and then you can do her voice. <laughs> and now in the news... Oh, look else. at this. Maybe we got a... We got a show turn in the news and a folk off. Oh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you said. I... Cemeteries in the news in a car. Oh, yeah, we that, do have that. Yeah, it's a cool story. Uh, tomorrow on the show, I'm very excited. In the studio, we're going to have a very special guest. His name is Dusty Slay. Ah, we love Look, him. Looking forward to seeing Mr. Slay. Uh, right now, we uh, return to the sports desk. Is that correct? Stupid. That's correct. My friend. I was, we had that great world record. Was it a, was it a world record? The guy that was 106 that graduated from high school. They, well, he didn't. He, he was, was just given an honorary. Yeah. Degree, yeah. And so we gave him. Why an is that a world record? record. Well, he was voted Mr. Popular. You know why? Why? He'd buy beer for all of his classmates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a beer, little punk. <laughs> I did that my entire senior year. I was 18. My entire and I. Back then, you could buy the three it. two and six yeah. percent. You could buy three two at eighteen, six percent at twenty one on it. Shingling little in Ohio, yeah. Oh yeah. We would drive miles Those to get were the across days. the border. Do they still have three two beer. I don't think they do. It's all uh, six or something. Armando World is almost ten percent alcohol. That's what you want to get a hold of. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sorry. I interrupted. What do you got? Officials in Kansas have rescinded a white crappie record. Yeah? Your thoughts with the word crappie, if you'd like to carry a yeah, talk about that? It's not spelled that way. Problematic. Uh, 
I don't understand. We, we, we were talking about language yesterday and how confusing English can be. Yeah. Because obviously it's spelled crappy. Mm -hmm. I've heard it both ways. But per not, I yeah. have heard people say crappy, too. I have, yeah. I have never heard crappy. I've always heard crappy. Oh, okay. Well, you hang around enough anglers, you're going to hear. That's true. I don't spend a lot of time with uh, loser, uh, fishermen. So. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. Hang out time at the According river. to USA Today, the white crappie caught by f angler Bobby Parkhurst weighed in at 4.07 pounds on certified scales, breaking a 59-year-old state record. Here's where it gets fishy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Five days after the new record was announced, a witness tipped the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks, a rat, that the fish was initially weighed at a second location and weighed just 3.73 pounds. X-rays later revealed two steel ball bearings oh, inside wow. the crappie gag. stomach. This is, yeah. uh, we had that huge story out of Ohio a few years ago with those guys cheating at a contest. Why would anybody risk it now? It nullified uh, the angler's catch as a state record. The staff used a handheld metal detector to scan the fish. The device detected the presence of metal. Wardens then ta uh, took the fish to the Topeka Zoo for x-ray examination where it was revealed two My goodness. steel ball bearings. Were How much money did they Couldn't they just cut open the fish? on this? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> wow. I can fillet a fish for God's sakes. I'll find those. <laughs> it continues. The Shawnee County District Attorney's Office. Whoa. Says that allowing in an, uh, following an investigation into the matter, there is sufficient evidence to prosecute the case. There you go. They're not messing around. They're going to have metal detectors in every way in from now on. I mean, I'm surprised they don't. I'm, I'm surprised a little too. Uh, the crappie they, since been returned to uh, Bobby Parkhurst, and the investigation is concluded. They have to find a different way to weigh them down, or something. There, well, they. I saw that NPR is doing a show about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's about weighing fish. It's called weight. Wait, <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> it's a, oh, man. Is that right? Yeah, I love that. It's show. Another English joke there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, it's a different oh, spelling. Wait, you see. wait. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, why are people doing this? Money. It's big money. Moolah, cash, geech, scratch. Weren't you in a bass tournament last summer? Yes. How yeah. did you do? I don't know so, if you ever followed up. I, I didn't even weigh. So uh, uh, yeah, I, so, but it, they're going to they're going to have metal detectors now. They yeah, they're going to have to at some of these bigger ones for sure. And it's which is fine. You just give them a wand. My favorite and, part of this is that don't they have fishermen who buy uh, fillets from a grocery store and bring them uh, and hide them and put them in fish they catch? Is yeah, it? or they'll they'll catch fish prior and then fillet them and stuff them into the fish so that. When you would feel it with your hands, oh, you would feel fish flesh okay. as opposed to right. marbles, essentially. And so, but now they know that, too. What do you think of that, yeah. Tom? Wow. Okay. Um, sad, really. Yeah, yeah. It's But that's a multi, is it a billion dollar industry sure. fish competition? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. In terms of uh, competition. Tele television that, coverage. A and ton of money. Selling yes. the boats and everything else has got to add up. Well, sure. Okay. Cheating is never good. No, no. Why do you want to do that? <laughs> I meant another one. One more. Oh. My favorite world record of the morning. Really? How many times have I said that? Not a lot. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, an electrical engineering student in Germany has broken the Guinness World Record for the fastest modified ride-on toy car. Yeah. I did it. Mr. Marcel Paul at Fulda University. <clears throat> We sing to the Ofalda. <laughs> Our praise is loud and long. So you go to FU and the horse you rode in on. Fulda University in Applied Science earned the record with a souped-up rideable toy car that reached a speed of... Anybody want to guess? <sighs> okay. I don't know. 92... <laughs> 92.24 miles an hour. Oh, Whoa. so he can ride it on the Autobahn. He said uh, he spent 10 months uh, <laughs> conducting research and modifying the toy car into a record-breaking vehicle. He said it was his personal goal to exceed 88 miles per hour because that's how fast the DeLorean went and back to the uh, uh, it? So I was kind of envisioning, I was envisioning one of those Barbie Jeeps. Okay. Modified to go. This thing really looks like, like a, a go kart. It looks like a go. I, how much of an original toy car is left? It looks like a it go looks, kart. It's it even has a Porsche like. Le yeah. That's different than the. Well, mm. maybe oh, it looks like a toy to me. That's the same, but it's, it's just only in that it's very small. That what nine? No, that looks like a plastic little race car. Oh, well, that's not the picture I have. Oh, okay. Um, 
maybe there's two. Well, I think what you're seeing, it's we. I have a picture. It just looks bigger in this picture than it, there, there. You can oh, see them on it. Oh, that's definitely a toy yeah, there. That's yeah, definitely. That's Whoa. crazy. And the guy's lying down. He looks like he's doing the luge. Yeah. And he's got a uh, thing on his helmet that uh, projects the... Uh, he's going so fast. He's, going he's got the steering wheel right there by his joint. You see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, right oh, yeah. Joint. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well... You um, steer right there about to, down by your crank. That's right. <laughs> stick shift. Hey, put it by your stick. Yeah, huh? yeah. It's a all stick right. shift. All rod. right. I got all yeah. the He's got fireproof padding around his nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just in case anything goes wrong. Steers um, with his dick. <laughs> is, that, is that sports? <laughs> Yes, sir. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Mark. always be a good sport. Christy. A lot of people dealing with the cell phone outage this morning. A lot of phones are coming back slowly but surely. I have no one who loves me, so I don't care about it because... I love you. I love you too, my God. Let's <laughs> finally. What the hell is going on? I, I don't know. I, I think we're going to be okay. Is it? We're going to be okay. But okay. that brings up Apple has warned customers not to put their iPhones in uncooked rice if their devices get wet. Hmm. That was, right. a, that was the standard thing. You get right. a baggie full of rice, right. heave the phone in there. The new guidance, which dispels a piece of long held conventional wisdom. Is this from the Apple people? I swear I'm going to come across is, this. No, Tom, is, he's always said this. He believes in it. And you, you've just put him out adrift. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, the Apple people's advice probably is buy a new one. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> just guessing. Oh, no, no, that rice thing doesn't work. Not at all. No. Yeah, they, they, they need to increase their sales somehow. Yeah. That, that's this, their problem. This is from the Apple people. They say that you should let your phone dry out on its own. The company said submerging devices in rice can actually damage them. Users are advised to unplug their phones from the power adapter and gently tap on their phone with the charging port facing down to let excess liquid drain from the device. It's you like should then like it peeing. It looks like it's yeah, peeing. yeah. When you do that, it looks like it peeing. I'm, I, I've got a feeling next week, <laughs> Apple's going to be releasing i rice. <laughs> <laughs> the the, uh, the 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 branded special kind uh, of special rice. Special yeah. rice. Yeah. <laughs> do not eat this rice. It's strictly for drying out your phone. They also suggest you leave your phone in a dry area with airflow and avoid using heat compressed air or cotton swabs and they say it could take up to 24 hours for the device to dry completely hmm. All have right. you ever had to do it nope oh i have and you I've dropped to... it in a toilet didn't you i'm surprised you didn't just get a brand new one yeah. i'm guessing i i don't think you've really told us how many times you've dropped a phone into a toilet yeah. i'm guessing <laughs> many just the one i don't believe i've you. i'll tell you what i did it not too long ago and i did a really Deft swat. I got and I got it, so it missed. Really? Oh, it started to fall into yeah, the toilet. Yeah, and then I did a, like a whack. Ooh, or a whack at the toilet, Josh. <laughs> did you use your hand? Uh, when I lived at home, <laughs> and then I. Uh, <laughs> oh, come on, that was it. funny. What'd you say, Christy? Go, did you use your hands? Because he's standing there peeing. He could have been. Never mind. <laughs> Whack. Yeah, I'm going to whack you up the head. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, she's suggesting I, I hit a homer. Yes, exactly. Uh, no, yeah, uh, oh, did he use his hands to whack the yes. phone? Yeah, there you go. See, that yeah, is yeah. very funny. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I still don't get it's it. It's my fault, Chris. I, I know, but I, I don't Am I the only one who, when I'm peeing, my phone is in my pocket? Mine you is weirdos. Not even in my, not even there. I yeah. don't ever look at my phone. I'm far above it. I'm a slave to my device. I have to look or else I'm nothing. That's right. Or as I like to say, 99% of Americans. If I'm in there for more than one minute, it means I'm doing Wordle. <laughs> you, you still call it Wordle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you there's. You can call uh, it turtle. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. you, you, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm coming for you. It's not going to stop. So once again, the message is don't put your iPhone in rice if you get it wet. No, just let it dry out on I'd it. always heard it was effective. Yeah, well, we all heard that. So. Hmm. Oh, shut you've up, done Apple. it, Pat? You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you hmm? shut up, Pat. Play no, Apple. Play, hey, play, your... play us a song, Pat. What would you like to hear? I don't Anything, know. Anything, just play. <laughs> Yeah, that'll, that'll I think I, we have several requests, Pat. To, like, Play some music. Several requests for Pat to do an instrumental. Oh, that's not very nice. You have a lovely singing voice, Pat. 
Thank no, no, you, no. Christy. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. Um, Maybe today's the day Pat and I do our big duet. You have a duet? Yeah, we've been, we've been working on uh, We've been working on it. Oh, don't go years. breaking my heart. <laughs> I couldn't if I tried. Oh, yeah. I get restless. Oh, Baby, you're, you're not my kind. I know. Um, real quick, uh, I want to remind everybody that... Um, uh, Peter Frampton, friend of the show, a great artist, is one of the uh, fine artists up for uh, uh, the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And you can vote for Peter and whoever else you want to vote for, him, more or less, um, if you go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame website. And uh, we'd uh, certainly suggest that you give Mr. Frampton uh, a, a thumbs up. Also, there was a fun story yesterday um, about uh, the band Foreigner. And um, they are also up for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and uh, the dis the distinguished actor. Um, a, a really kind of a... Show off. Guy, uh, just a very singular character. The great <clears throat> Jack, oh, Jack Black. Jack Black. I love that Jack again? Black. I love this. I love Jack Black. Here's Jack uh, urging people to vote. Well, you'll see. Somebody give Feels me a nod like when it's the over. the first time when oh, no, no, oh, like you opened up the door. Hey, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Open the door. Foreigners waiting outside. Let him in. Yeah, nice. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so uh, go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame website. What are you doing? Are you doing over there right now? Are you voting? Yep. I'm I not going to vote. I do it every vote. day. If you vote for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, all you do is get Rock and Roll Jury Duty. I'm out. Um, uh, I would love Rock and Roll Jury Duty. I don't mind. <laughs> I love Rock and Roll. I like that sass. Yeah, I don't mind. Bring it on, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Chrissy, I think you should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> right. For There's what? that, you know, that great song. Is there a Rock and Roll Heaven by the Righteous Brothers? Oh, oh that one, you know that one, Chick? Yeah, yeah, I know that one. I uh, think I heard it once. Uh, and I Pat, I got an I idea. Listen to this again. <laughs> What's that? Uh, we could do an, uh, a knockoff on that called "Is There a Rock and Roll Prison?" Oh, that's a good oh, one. That's, that's have good. all of the. Uh, Who would you bring really? in a rock and roll I'm, I'm, prison? Well, <laughs> well, bring all those memories back. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, Phil Spector, oh, Chuck Berry. <laughs> I thought you meant people that just didn't weren't very good. No, no, no. No, you meant no that people. Went to jail. Some, some very fine artists are uh, awful people. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Ike Turner. Yeah. Uh, yeah he's a, a little bit yes. of assault. Um, yeah, we'll work on that, Ben. Um, is oh. that is that song familiar enough to people to even do a parody of? Do you That's remember a, that? No, question. not at all. No there's way. a rock and roll. What is it? You know, if there's a rock and roll heaven. The band. The, it's it's oh, Righteous Brothers, isn't yeah. it? Band, yeah. Band. I'll, I'll dig that song up. It's fun. Okay. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he's in heaven. Yeah, he'd be there. <laughs> Well, yeah, Christ one one would hope. Right. If, if, if anybody, He's a lead if anybody had a golden ticket, for God's sake, that, yeah. that'd, that'd be rough. Hey, Dad, the, Dad, what the hell? Yeah. Look at me, this nepo crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Um, what's coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, we still have to talk about um, our Mars simulator. If you want to pretend like you live on Mars, I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we also have virtual reality and seniors. That's a great. It's a great story. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. Yeah, really mm. fun. Mm -hmm. um, I bet it sucks. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I see. Nanu, nanu. Oh my God, he's uh, a that, genius. That part. Uh, <laughs> I love Jack Black too. Oh come on, he's great. Uh, <laughs> nanu, nanu. Uh, okay, so that's that's all coming up. And what else did I want to mention? Real quick. I don't know what. Oh, I know. I, I was going to try. We have uh, Al Jackson coming up uh, this morning. And then uh, Dusty Slay, comedian, joining us tomorrow in the studio. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing Dusty once again. And he's out on tour, and he's got that uh, great new special. And we can ask him about uh, the restaurant where he used to be employed. Hyman's. Oh, that's right. In oh, Charleston, yes. South Carolina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, i, I got to find out what to order because we're going to be heading down there soon. The Cherry's uh, Jubilee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules, go... The airport because it's got like magical powers. The airport's the only place where like you could be on the floor eating a salad. <laughs> And somebody will come up to you and ask you to watch their most precious things. You know, like, Can you watch my back and my kid? 
name A Jackson, you know, slot 32B or whatever, and you just go find your car. And I went there, and you know, um, uh, 29, 30, 31, and then there's no 32. It just started with another rental car. It's like, I know I can't ask, like, where's 32 after 31, because they might not let you take the car, you know? <laughs> Eventually, I went and asked, I was like, hey, ma'am, uh, there's no 32, it just, there's just budget. And she goes, oh, we merged with budget, so that's an Avis car, so you just take that. I should have just taken the car on the off chance that there was a corporate takeover, I wasn't. <laughs> and then maybe drive to somebody's house and break in and go to bed and hope it's an Airbnb. What are you talking about? Like, the Olympics are my favorite four years because they give that stat every four years about how many condoms they hand out at Olympic Village. <laughs> this year, we gave away 618,000 condoms at Olympic Village, and every time I hear that stat, I'm like, why? <laughs> Those are our best people. <laughs> what we told that kid would be perfect. It'd be good on the land and the sea. It'd be like a, a first human Range Rover. What are we... How about we start handing out condoms at Storage Wars meet and greets? I'm a basketball fan, and they said, like, uh, if everything works out perfectly in the next three years, LeBron James and his son will be in the NBA at the same time. I was like, no, oh, that's cool. But then I did a little math of my own, and I figured out that in six and a half years, me and my daughter's student loans are going to overlap. <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. My wife listens to ASMR. I don't know if you guys know what ASMR is or stands for. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And I don't know what that is either. It means whispering. That's all that is. Bob Ross, he's, he's whispering. And he paints on the canvas, and it's all scratchy. And he takes the paintbrush and dips it into the water and hits it on the easel to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> And then sometimes Bob would have his squirrel in studio, and the squirrel would be like, <laughs> that's ASMR. <laughs> I'm, I'm home from school, third grade, just being like, I don't know why I'm so relaxed. <laughs> but Bob, you're doing it right today. <laughs> that's what my wife listens to every single night. Her favorite lady, she's got three-inch fingernails and this Wolverine woman is always just click clacking on things with their fingernails, typing on a keyboard, and out of nowhere, she'll be like, I'm going to eat a big pickle. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep right now. Turn this off. I'm driving. I said, no, you are. I'm going to set the garage on fire. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. All right, so comedian Alan Havey joins us. What else is on your mind? What are you talking about these days? Oh, uh, you know, uh, my girlfriend wants to have kids now, and I, I don't want kids. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I just kids are spoiled today. I don't know what happened. I guess children had a major coup about 12 years ago. Spoiled little <laughs> bastards. Um, you know, when a kid's bad, what do they tell them now? No, time, time out. out. Time out. What mm-hmm. the hell is that? Time out. Yeah, I had to time out when I was a kid. I'd wake up and go, what happened? <laughs> Uh-huh. Where are you from, by the way? Patterson, from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, boy. you know, small. Sure. Thugged out town. You mm-hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? <laughs> I'll come down for dinner. <laughs> It's time once again for People Who Suck at Small Talk. Hey, I catch the big game last night? <laughs> uh, uh, well, what truly is a game when you really think about it? I mean, it's merely a struggle for conquest between competing rivals in a match to attain victory so they can feel superior about a relatively inconsequential endeavor. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must what, be... oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that... Are you kidding? I, yeah. No. <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're... <laughs> Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air. Online. All the time. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I'm Chick McGee. Here's Tom Griswold. Hi, Tom. Hey, hello. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Um, I've got a request here. Uh, one to fulfill this. I mentioned it quite a while ago, and I did not get to it. Uh, it comes to us from Denver, Colorado. Uh, Patrick, uh, kind enough to write. Um, uh, his uh, daughter, Kira, is having a... Her eighth birthday. Oh my gosh! Happy birthday, Kira. Um, uh, but uh, very, very special request from her. From her for her eight year old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the eight year old wants to hear something. Yeah, I, I, I think we'll just play a portion of it. Okay. It's a long song. That's our it's, humor. it's a filthy bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's our humor level, certainly. Uh, eight, eight years old. It's one of the classics. Really? It's uh, yeah, it's a TG Mofo MC. Oh. Uh, and uh, are you oh, kidding me? Now you understand though. This makes sense. Let's She's eight. Yeah. All farts are yeah, especially Big funny. for the eight-year-olds. But Tom thinks grown-ups should be laughing at. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who's laughing at this? It's a, it's a long intro. Serious song. Ah! Yeah, they're really taking yeah. their time getting to it, aren't yeah, they, Pat? Yeah. Setting the wow. tone, Pat. Two sexy ladies were with me that night. We picked up Willie and went out for a bite. Willie ordered chili. The ladies had tacos. I had pepperoni pizza and a plate of greasy nachos. My stomach started hurting. It started to swell. Then somebody shouted, yo, what's that smell? The air was funky with an evil breeze. And the ladies said, who cut the cheese? Who cut the cheese? Oh, man. Oh, man. Who cut the cheese? <laughs> who was that? the cheese? Oh, man. It's in the song, oh, man. Right? It is? Yeah. Hey, who cut the cheese? <laughs> I was feeling kind of guilty. I hated to admit it. I had cut the cheese. I was the one who did it. I smiled at Willie. Then ripped off a trouser sneeze. He jumped out the window. He knew who cut the cheese. <laughs> who cut the cheese? Oh, man. Oh, man. Who cut the cheese? Come on, baby, pull my finger. Who cut the cheese? Oh, man. Oh, man. Who cut the cheese? SBD Solid Badelli. <laughs> who cut the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, there. There <laughs> Thank you. Very funny. Thank you, Kira. I think for... it should be sped up a little bit, though. 
Oh, it's got a lot of problems. <laughs> No, I'm that's not a, exactly humming it. That's yes. uh, Smooth Teddy B and TG Mofo MC. And that was yeah. for her? Who? Their classic. Kira. She turned, oh, happy turned, turned eight. Kira. A, Glad you liked it. Had a nice request from Denver, Colorado. It is I'll a fun go downhill from here. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, let's see where we're we? about to peak. Am I right? I think oh, we yeah. were uh, talking to Christy Lee at the news desk. Oh, Any, you anything going on over there? Yes. A new trend on TikTok. Yeah. You, know you love this. Woo! Has users enhancing their water with sugar free syrups. So, what is it? So, Kool Aid? <laughs> Users are uploading there. clips relating to spicing up plain water with everything from syrup recipes to low calorie powders flavored like Skittles. Some so called water mixologists oh offer God. specific combinations <laughs> of sugar free syrups and flavor packets. Nutritionists, right. however, are cautioning that the trend is not promoting real hydration as artificial sweeteners are still problematic for gut health. Dr. Uma Naido, a, Naido, a Harvard-trained nutritional psychiatrist, told CNBC, in all honesty, water is water. There's and a it's not any answer. different from drinking Kool-Aid. There's a <laughs> nutritional psychiatrist? Yep. Sure. Who Absolutely. says things like, in all honesty, water is water. Yeah. Boy, that's a brilliant woman right there. <laughs> well, she may be brilliant. I just <laughs> no, I didn't nothing. realize that there was... A discipline in psychiatry involving nutrition. Of course, really? that's a lot of eating disorders. Oh, okay, so yeah. okay, so she doesn't just like have a gallon jug of water on a couch. Well, no, feeling wet again. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize. <laughs> I uh, mm, yeah. Back in my day, Josh. Yes, sir. You know how you flavored water? How? Oh. Whatever the hose had been sitting near when you're playing outside. Mm -hmm. It is <laughs> rust flavored. Is yeah, that what whatever, you got? Probably. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, old it's nice. Okay. Oh, it's well, great. Thank you very much, TikTok. Summer day. Uh, no, um, do you enhance your water? Do you drink water? Yeah. Do I enhance it? No. Yeah. Do you put anything in Just it? Just like a bottled water. Any kind of water. I have a. I have reverse osmosis water at my house. Of course you do. Oh, yeah, Tom Selleck pushes that, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Reverse osmosis. Yeah. yeah. It, it comes with my mortgage. You mean reverse yeah. osmosis? Like it has no flavor? No, it's just uh, fil it's filtered water. I mean, you oh. drink it in your, <laughs> you drink it with your ass. That would be an enema. <laughs> that reverse osmosis. Oh, you're the one that has the. Now, you 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 have the bidet. That's right. Now, does your bidet I'm the cleanest ass in this room? And you have that hooked up to a reverse osmosis machine. <laughs> I do. Yeah. Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> a lot of nerve. Now, when I was over at Josh's Braggers. house, what I thought was cool. Yeah. You've never been. Uh, to it was Josh's it was house. much like being at a nice restaurant where they walk up and they go, um, "Do you want the flat water or?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you, the day water? Do you, no, 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 no. They want you the flat water. Or do you want sparkling water? Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, uh, there's nothing like uh, sparkling water in the keister. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Effervescent. Yeah. Right, right. It's, it's, it's clean. Yes, <laughs> yes. Maybe we should do a home tour. Go to each other's home. Everybody, we go to you. everybody's home. You have got to <laughs> shut up. It'd be great video. Come on. It'd be fun. Uh... No, all right. You wouldn't have us over at your house. Who has the most? Yeah. Who has the most junk at their house? I vote Ace. Oh, oh I, I think no Ace doubt. would vote Ace. I, yeah. Ace down, he's the winner. I, I've got a pretty good sized room of uh, nothing but stuff. Yeah, I don't Do you know. really? Oh yeah. Not me. I dumpstered it all out. I'm done. Sure you did. I, I mean, you'd be stunned. Uh, it's amazing. We I know be. you don't uh, you don't save uh, newspapers anymore either. I well, just, I've got them. I save them on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the big memory chip. Uh, I'm sorry, Christy Lee. What have you got? A new study has found that how much TV you watch may affect nighttime urination. According to this study, people who spent five or more hours a day watching TV or videos had a 40 percent higher risk of experiencing noctura or the need to urinate multiple times at night compared to participants was less than an hour of daily viewing time. This I don't think that less has than an anything hour. to do with it. This I, do, I watch less than Doesn't an hour. Doesn't Noctura sound like a facial cream? <laughs> What's the secret? That's made with your urine. Noctura. She, she uses Noctura. Uh, <laughs> she, she looks great, but she smells like piss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I, what is the relationship? You're watching television all day. And then you can't sleep. You have to get up in the middle of the night to be a lot. Is that because right? when you're watching TV, you're sitting there drinking and it eating? It must be. Must be. I don't know. Well, it probably explains why there's no channel number one. Either that no. or <laughs> you're an adult male. Yeah, why isn't yeah. there a channel yeah, no one, kidding. by the way? What do you mean? I don't know. There's yeah. no channel one on a lot of times it started with channel three was a big thing. I think one is VHF and it's reserved for 
emergency vehicles, in there, or they used to be. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's probably not that way. Anymore. Not emergency but, vehicles, but there aren't. Any. That would be stupid. Emergency oh, radio, broadcasts. No, emergency vehicles with, with our cars. You dummy. communication. <laughs> An ambulance can't go on a television. I can't yes, work. Yes, but with, they can talk on the radio. I can't work with this I'm man. A, I'm <laughs> He's an idiot. Um, I am an idiot. That's so you're not debatable. You so your not. body's wake. If you watch too much TV, your body's waking up because you have to pee. So this is your body's way of saying, "Hey, look, while you're up, why don't you pop the TV on? We'll get another hour in." That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm with you guys. You no, must be sitting there else. drinking yeah. the whole and, time and, and not going to the bathroom. Shut mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you watch five hours of TV a day? On a slow day, yeah. Mm. Wow. How many hours of yeah? How many hours of TV do you watch? You just stick your nose in everybody else's business <laughs> and come up to work. You're probably busy doing that, I would think. Your TV's on all the time, isn't it? <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. Because no, he can't Not figure out how to turn it on. Not since the beginning of this conversation. No, no, no. At my old house, you couldn't turn the one TV off. Remember? <laughs> That sounds totally reasonable. <laughs> I'm telling you, you couldn't. And now in this one, you can't turn it on, right? You, Don't I, you? I, if you wait 10 minutes, there's a protocol. You have to <laughs> <laughs> think you get the head of NBC in the phone. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I don't hey, I have good news. The pandas are coming back to San Diego. Nobody Yay. cares unless yeah. they're filled with caramel. How many, uh, can we x-ray them for cameras and microchips, please? China. So they go back to China for, what, two weeks, and all of a sudden they're back here? You're telling me there's not, in there, fact... There's some dude inside a suit. Yes, exactly. They're, <laughs> they're, they're the telling panda. me the pandas are coming back and I ain't got no cell service? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same day. Uh -huh. Same day. Okay, when we come back, a song from Mr. Godwin. Sure. Also coming up, comedian Al Jackson. This is The Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to The Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Watch and subscribe. Hey, this is Sam Miller from Olympia, Washington. Come see me this weekend at the Jukebox Comedy Club in beautiful Peoria, Illinois, Friday and Saturday, 23rd and 24th. You can get tickets on my website or the Jukebox website. Uh, my website, samillercomedy.com backslash ticks. Oh, Who I, else have you met? You know. that you, any, anybody else? <laughs> I've met I've met everybody I do except for Denzel Washington. Hmm. He's the one I haven't met. Um, Is anyone I'll, upset by your imitation? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks for bringing it up. Yes, Sorry. there's uh, Sorry. where Kanye had a lot to say. <laughs> But oh, really? He's usually so sad. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, did you really count that of him being mad? Just, that was just him being Kanye. Yeah, that's Shannon dope. Sharp hates my impression. Uh, he cannot stand it. I'm guessing because it's accurate. <laughs> you know, that that's what I believe. I thought it would I thought it would bite on. I thought it would make it. <laughs> and you know the fact that Thanon doesn't like it is just a bit of to me. But you know, yeah. some people I hear you. Some people just, you know, skip. Skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Some people just don't like mirrors, Skip. <laughs> when you see the mirror, you say to yourself, do I really sound like that? And I'm going to be right there on the other side saying, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon hates it, man. It's uh, Everybody else, I haven't. And Ben Carson had a little bit to say, but, you know, he ain't popping. So whatever. <laughs> I mean, he, he, can, he can say whatever. I, I pretty much, that was like my... I was like my, it was a character pretty much. <laughs> he was sleeping. It wasn't sleepy, even an impression. Man. I did these little cat hands. <laughs> you know, right. the hands yeah. with the hands like this. Yeah. And I would turn my face and so many people would ask me. They'd come to my shows. Can we do the Ben Carson pose? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is actually a thing. Yeah. I didn't think it was a thing, but so I got, so there's people sending me pictures posing like this. Even somebody sent me a picture of their cat doing it. Their cat. There was, was a picture of a baby. He was doing it. I was like, I did not know that this obscure impression had so much premise over you all. Night. I did not know that. Now what's he, is, what is he, like, secretary of something? He may, he may be retiring. Yeah, he's something. Of he's, something. he's secretary of housing. We, we don't got to, yeah, yeah, you know. We don't, <laughs> I'm just, let's get past him. We just, want him, we just want him to have, you know, something really something high profile do, so you can bring yeah. it back. Back. Oh, I wish, man. You know, he just needs to go fill out an application and work at Arby's. I want to. <laughs> I want to. Do you have a philosophy on uh, doing impressions of people who are no longer with us. 
Uh, do I? Do you, uh, I mean, you're yeah. Okay can you that? do Taft? <laughs> <laughs> you William Taft. <laughs> William Howard Taft. <laughs> no, but my FDR is pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> my sit. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, I definitely sit down for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Teddy Roosevelt, but I do FDR. <laughs> <laughs> he has a back of a chocolate declare. <laughs> That's one of his famous quotes. Jay Farrow is our guest. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... Police in Athole, Massachusetts. I'm Where? sorry. Uh, Where? Excuse me. We had to beep you there. Athole. Spell it. A T H O L. That's a thole. Is, no, I, nope, the, it's Athole. Isn't there? Isn't there? Uh, isn't there? Sports team, the Flames. <laughs> oh, no, they're the Flaming Atholes. Oh my God. <laughs> well, at least we're is that is that the actually? I, I need. What proof, do you mean? I need proof that that's a town. It is not the. It's the majors. Thank you. <laughs> the Major. major Atholes. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm looking. Police in Athole, Massachusetts, have named a new canine police dog after. New England Patriots, Thailand, Rob Gronkowski. Oh, my God. It's a real place, Christy. Population 11,584. That's a pretty big size. Uh, nice size town. Size town yeah. That's a big Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of big Ethel. <laughs> that sounds to me like Let's the big Ethel. Let's get back to the sports mm. desk. Where's the boat? <laughs> hey, this is Mike Birbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. So I get on the plane to go up to do this movie, and sitting across from me, I didn't see him get on the plane because I was doing my own thing or whatever, is Ed McMahon. Oh, really? Yeah. And God bless him. Ed, yeah, he's yeah. been on the show. He's been in here a couple times. I love him. He's great. I mean, he looks 107, but he's had a, a, a very, very uh, admirable uh, life. And, mm -hmm. and uh, Marine, veteran, combat exactly, veteran. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, so anyways, I, I'd done the show, as you mentioned, with he and Johnny many, many times. But and I, So I didn't realize he was on the plane, so we hadn't spoken. We hadn't even made eye contact. And seven seconds into the flight, he's fast asleep. Mm -hmm. You know, God bless but I couldn't resist. Uh oh I went up behind him <laughs> <laughs> about 15 minutes into the flight when he was snoring. I went up behind him and into his ear I said, Ed, we're back. <laughs> oh. He's such a great sport. He uh. shot up in his seat and he said, Yes! <laughs> yes, sir! Hi-oh! 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 <laughs> and the sign said anybody caught trespassing will be shot on sight. So I jumped over the fence and yelled at the house, Hey, what gives you? <laughs> the Essential Morning Radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Dot com. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Hello. Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I'm Chick McGee. Here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome, Tom. Uh, let's see. Coming up tomorrow, Dusty Slay. Coming up in a few minutes, Al Jackson. Uh, right now... Uh, we've uh, suggested that today she looks more puppet-like than usual. It's uh, Christy Lee. 
Christy Lee and her. I, I all I said was I really like that jacket. At least you it admit looks it very I'm nice. It is a cool jacket. Thank it you. It is kind of a military cut with a nice uh, subtle. A thick vertical stripe. Yeah, it's cool. And uh, then Chick said, "You look like a ventriloquist dummy." And Chick's not wrong either. <laughs> I. It looks like a you, a coat you would would put on your ventriloquist. So what right. we're asking Christy to do is drink a glass of water while doing the news, and we'll throw her voice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, what story? Wait a minute, hang on. I got. Oh. What story do you want uh, to do? A disco bathroom. Disco bathroom. Disco. I mean, I, you can't start drinking the water yet. This People. was a bad idea oh, from the minute it fell out of your mouth. Just what fun song. this is. Yeah. Boy, that's I'll hilarious. Just do this story. No, no, it's, it's Go ahead, Chris. Well, no, no, no. Just drink the water. I'll do it. <laughs> I guess. He just wants to talk. Ohio, Ohio, Ohio cockle. I heard Ohio cockle. Dick, 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 dick. That's all Will I heard. you knock it off? <laughs> you, we can't come on the air and say dick, 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 dick. <laughs> A couple, a couple in Ohio got married inside a gas station's now somewhat famous disco bathroom. Remember the disco bathroom yes. story? No. Nope. Yeah. Could you? Hop uh, shops. You, you may have been gone, actually. Yeah, uh, hop shops is the place. Which is. <laughs> Can you <laughs> shut up? <laughs> For like five seconds. I, I was directing you. it at you because you weren't paying attention. Oh, I don't want to pay attention. <laughs> this, is, this is a great story. I'm not going to pay attention. These They've, people are from Ohio, just like you. They've been enjoying viral for, <laughs> viral fame recently for their unusually styled gas station bathrooms. And they announced nuptials between Mr. Logan Abney and Miss Tiana Aylstock yep. at its Verona, Ohio location. So far, really. The ceremony Isn't that took, sweet? They're getting married in this special bathroom. They already did, Tom. Oh, it yeah. took place on Valentine's Day. Oh, how, how romantic. Married in a gas station bathroom. Oh, Saw boy. Tiana walking past snacks and Sometimes slushies. the lights flash. And wow. her father's arm to the convenience store. <laughs> bathroom. Sure. That trucker dropping a deuce. Ask yeah. him to ease off for a minute. There I got to say is. the I do's. She there and Logan exchanged custom vows before sharing a first kiss, then smacking the red party button to trigger the bathroom room's disco lights. No, excuse me for one second. No, the party button, Josh, that's your prostate? It is, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, 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 a little, <laughs> little bulk there. <laughs> the newlyweds then danced at Randy Travis's classic Forever and Ever, Amen. Oh, I love that song. Who does it? That is a I, classic. I, I would be counted. I like it too. That d the disco bathroom chick, since you weren't here, the disco bathroom, you walk in there and you hit that button and all these lights go. Hang on, let me turn my headphones on. What? The uh, disco bathroom. It's kind of fun. They have them at all the all the, their particular locations, I guess. Of what? The hop shops. It's, it's like a, a gas station 7-Eleven kind of thing. And they're called hop shops? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's yeah. the name of the channel. They're all across the country? Mm -hmm. They're in uh, all West, the states? They're in Kentucky. Kentucky. I know that. Yeah. Uh, Ohio. Huh. <laughs> they're cool. I mean, they're a good place to stop, but I would be getting married in one of those. Yeah. The, they did the something borrowed, something blue thing, the something blue, Josh, urinal cakes. Oh! <laughs> sure, they have very clean Do they still have urinal or... cakes? Do they have, are they I still have them? Yeah, I have urinal cakes in my house. Ace gave them to me. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Ace. I've installed them. Good. And they're good for like 10,000 peas. <laughs> You have a little uh, counter next to the urinal so you can flip it so you know when it's done. They're nice, though. It's a, they, it's a nice touch. Of the, my, I do have a urinal in the master bath, or the, what's it called again? Primary Cl bathroom. Closet. Um, closet? Is it the closet? You've been in my bathroom. Yeah, it's not tight. That's it. Well, that's, well that's just that It's just part. the toilet. The other so tell part. Tell me you just destroyed that bathroom. <laughs> when you're in there. Do not go in. In any event, the, so this is the, it's, it's called the um, <laughs> disco bathroom chick, and it's fun. Yeah. I think it's sweet that this um, wow. this couple's getting married. Yeah, so you know what? Now I'm convinced. Did you see the pictures, Christy? I did not. I did not see the wedding pictures. Uh, no. There's a sign that says, you must wash your hands before dancing to the electric slide. Yeah. They're really doing a nice show. <laughs> honeymoon, by the way, coming up. Oh, yeah? Where are they going to honeymoon? Um, what do you think would be appropriate? Oh, I thought... Oh, I, I, thought I, I, I thought you had a whole I really thought, thought I was... Yeah, I really thought I was helping yeah. you. I would assume it would be the come and go, which is a different oh. different, uh, different chain. And that's the chain. They're changing their name, right? Yeah. Yes, they yeah. are. The, the come and go? Mm -hmm. It's the jizz and jet. It's just the come and go. I'm sorry, it's what? Jizz, jizz and jet. <laughs> Really? Pat, do you have a song for us? Yeah, I do. I don't feel like singing, but I, well, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Because we're having a party, little Sam Cooke, little Southside Johnny. <laughs> well, we're having a party. A gas station bathroom party. Uh, come on. At a hop shop in Kentucky. While truckers are trying to go. <laughs> oh, we're pissing. 
Mr. DJ, and there's a big old uh, red button. It says, don't push me, don't push me. But apparently that means nothing. They're playing songs from Dirty Dancing. There's a big old disco ball. Meanwhile, a weary traveler is constipated in a stall. Oh. Here he sits, all broken hearted. You know what he came for. Yeah. He can't get started. And you're having such a good time. Poor bastard only farted. <laughs> <laughs> We're having... It goes on from there because it's a huge party. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A little Southside Johnny I'm tribute. I'm not done yet. Okay. I bet the parents were happy. You, you think, oh, cheap. I mean, yeah. the mother, mother of the bride, the, I mean, the father of the bride, they saved a ton of money. Mm hmm. I mean, what if they had to pay a rental fee for the. Probably not. Uh, They're getting all of this publicity for free. They should give them. It sounds like fun. I'm glad the couple enjoyed themselves and, and <laughs> wished them the best. I wish I'd been there. If I, yeah? As you know, I've what done. What would you have done? Throw well, Fritos? I, I have done. <laughs> I have done. Did I just say I have done? I have done. The, I've, Officiating. I, I'm an officiant. Yes. Mm hmm. And I've done that. And I would, I would, of course, add that classic line that's often removed. If anyone objects to this union, flush now or forever hold your peace. Mm -hmm. uh, hold your peace. It's dignity. Dignity <laughs> is what I've tried to bring to the ceremony. Uh, thank you. Uh, now, um, uh, coming up, comedian Al Jackson will be joining us tomorrow. Dusty Slay is going to be hanging with us. But right now, we have more news with Christy Lee. What is it? Oh, it's a sad news in Charleston, West Virginia. Uh oh Fans of the restaurant known as Hooters are planning to hold a candlelight vigil for a soon-to-be demolished restaurant. No kidding. Yeah, according to an event page, devoted patrons had hoped someone would purchase the closed building that was, quote, once the almighty Hooters in Kanawha City and reopen it. Kanawha City. Sorry. Sorry. It was recently announced that the Hooters building would be demolished to make room for a... <laughs> <laughs> Sheets gas station. Oh, Sheets is good. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, yeah. got a good product. Uh, it's very good. How do they spell that? S H E E T Z. Yeah. So somebody had a good sense of humor when they named Hooters that. business turned to Sheets. Yes. <laughs> That's hard to believe. Now they're holding a <laughs> candlelight vigil to honor the location before the building gets demolished on February 26th. A candlelight vigil. Organizers yeah. promise chicken wings with traditional Hooters sauce and a limited amount of the goat sandwich, the strip tease. I don't know anything about that. Chicken strips uh, with uh, melted cheese on it and your toasted bun there. And oh, that's so, the goat sandwich? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the you're... greatest of all time. That's okay. Sandwich. You're going right. to ceremonially... Uh, uh, Is that Ceremoniously at, burn at all of the burn all of the celery. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, at Hooters. Leftover. I like Hooters. I really enjoy really? the food. Yeah. I haven't been to a Hooters. And... I'll take you. We can okay. look at boobs, eat. It's pretty cool. <laughs> all right. Great. Right. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Go, oh man, this is a good sandwich. I My God, look at those a nice boobs. Nice pair. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you do, don't you? It'll probably become a Twin Peaks, which <laughs> seems to be the tradition. <laughs> yeah. uh, How do you pronounce that city, chick? It's a it's a county, Kanawha County, and then there's a, a Kanawha City. City. It's K A N A W H A. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Kanawha. You just say Kanawha. Yeah. Nice. It. We're gonna be there. Yeah. Real soon. Oh, that's right. Charleston, W V. Be looking for us. Uh, now, uh, Tri Cities, Huntington, Higher International. Oh yeah, West Virginia. It's popping. It's cool. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Almost now, heaven, uh, they say. Uh, Pat. Yes, sir. Uh, do we have another song coming out of you? Yeah, you want it now? Oh, you have it now? Sure. Well, by all means. Well, I'm going down to Charleston this weekend for the vigil. All right. Oh, oh, oh nice. nice. I'm going to sing right there from the vigil. All right. Goodbye, Hooters. <laughs> West Virginia. Best breasts and chicken wings this side of the river. <laughs> Waitresses were bold there. Put on quite a show. <laughs> White tank tops, tight orange shorts with a hint of camel toe. One, two, three. Three country roads, <laughs> take me there. We'll have a vigil. Pull up a chair. Oh, Hooters, West Virginia. Someone's naked, mama. <laughs> Beer, boobs, and wings. Hooters, please don't go. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, it's kind Flying of a sad at, song. Uh, down at the show Thank you very much. Uh, now, um, uh, coming up, we're going to talk with uh, comedian Al Jackson. Right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show, sponsored by BetterHelp. What's BetterHelp all about? Well, it's about uh, your mental health. It's about feeling great in your head. And uh, among other things, it's about convenience. Uh, because BetterHelp has uh, taken contemporary technology and applied it to the world of therapy. Now, well, how does it work? Well, you fill out a brief questionnaire. You'll get matched with a licensed therapist. 
You can switch therapists at any time, by the way, no charge. And um, then you do the therapy online, just like you did the questionnaire, except uh, you can do it uh, speaking back and forth. You could do it as if you were on a Zoom call. You could do it like you were on the phone. You can do it texting back and forth. The key is this uh, it, to this is it's about whatever is best for you. It's about flexibility and convenience and um, dealing with your schedule. So um, check it out by going to betterhelp.com slash BT show. You know, they say it's a common misconception that, for example, in the world of romance, that relationships have to be easy to be right. Not necessarily. And that's where uh, counseling and therapy can be extraordinarily helpful. So become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for a soulmate or not right now, and uh, find out what's going on in your head with BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com slash BT show. If you go today, you'll get 10% off your first month. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT show. Coming up. We have uh, the NASA Mars simulator looking for volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, someone taking a, a shortcut with their automobile and doing a lot of damage. And we have comedian Al Jackson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. And you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. Uncle Larry wants you to know that we'll be having an all-day replay today. Hey, this is Sam Miller from Olympia, Washington. Come see me this weekend, the Jukebox Comedy Club in beautiful Peoria, Illinois, Friday and Saturday, 23rd and 24th. You can get tickets on my website or the Jukebox website. Uh, my website is sammillercomedy.com backslash ticks. Explained elsewhere. Q95, Night Ranger, when you close your eyes. It's 842, you're with Bob and Tom on a two for Tuesday. Good morning. Howdy. Great. Holmes. Holmes. <laughs> Sherlock. <laughs> Let's play word association. Okay. Howdy. Holmes. Sherlock. Holmes. John C. <laughs> <laughs> with Bob and Tom. Holmes. The human tripod. Uh, I see. Okay, I'm sorry, Bob. That's all right. You From 6 a.m. and for the next four hours, Bob Kavoyan and Tom Griswold yeah, fill the airwaves with and jokes and pranks that range from silly to hilarious <laughs> and from body to sick. Uh, why is sex like air? Why is sex like air? I give up, Bob. Because it's no big thing unless you're not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> they deliver a national like lampoon just. sort of humor that leaves the audience <laughs> laughing while wondering how Q95 can broadcast some of the things they say. Half the jokes, the joke is in your mind. The joke isn't stated outright. Mm -hmm. The person has to put something into it to get something out of it. Yeah, they're fun and... Uh, People yeah. like them. People enjoy them. They laugh at them. And there's an alternative. You can always change the channel. Mm -hmm. But people aren't. Mm -hmm. After two years on the air, Bob and Tom have Big taken Q95's morning Bob show to the top of the volatile morning FM ratings. WFBQ is the third radio station the Zany team has worked for. After six years together, they've got the routine down pat. Bob runs the audio control board, plays straight man, and provides the program's famous lab. Amateur phylactics. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing concept, I think, and I think it's going to be Tom go sits in a mound of no and papers Speaking to provide that, that, the program's that, often quoted jokes and many of its voices. Oh, hello, Mahandas. Hello, Bob. <laughs> How are you? Oh, I am fine today. <laughs> hello, Tom. Hi, Mahandas. You look very good today. Thank you so much, Mahandas. I much of their banter is off the cuff with an occasionally rehearsed punchline well, off mic during a song. And I, I know. Only if it makes right. you late for the ceremony. She's controversial. She's provocative. She's the famous sex therapist, Dr. Ruth Weisboner. Good morning, Dr. Ruth. Good morning. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Dr. Ruth. Their regular spoof on Dr. Uh, Ruth Westheimer <laughs> features some of their more risque humor. Is it wrong to have sex before you're married? Hmm. Is it wrong to have sex before you're married? Well, no, as long as you're not late for the wedding. <laughs> Bob and Tom's task of filling 20 hours of airtime every week is made easier by several regular characters phoned in by people around town. Nightclub owner Sonny is a favorite. Great approach. How are things going out at the track? I know you're running the mystery flesh tent this year. Everything is going just fine, Doug. Mm -hmm. I bred that baby up, throw it in some shortening, and uh, serve it up. It's the mystery flesh tent, Doug. Mm -hmm. That's located, of course, in turn one. It's right there in turn one where people seem to be the most hungry and the least discriminating. <laughs> Other characters are voiced by regular visitors to the studio. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. 
Uh, thank you, Don Bardo. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Cop. Good morning, Your Highness. Good morning, Your 95 Mr. Midday you know, uh, personality Jay contest. Baker voices the spoof on days. Richard Nixon. Now, do you remember Ronald Reagan sure. visiting the German cemetery over the weekend? Oh, that's right, they, yes. The, the media referred to it as the Nazi cemetery. Mm -hmm. You know, I was the one that put him up to that. I see. I said, babes, this is going to be so beautiful for your career. Trust me on this one. <laughs> I it told figures. him, I said, when I was a young boy, I heard the phrase, the only good Nazi is a dead Nazi. Mm -hmm. I said, Ronnie, you can't miss a whole field full of dead Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> you slide over there, you put the wreath down, the wreath, and you're cruising. Bob and Tom say they get very few complaints from listeners as they poke fun at every special interest group imaginable. And station management has left them unrestrained on the limits of their humor. After two years, the result has been high ratings, a devoted following, and two happily transplanted Hoosiers who say they just might stay to grow old and gray on Q95. Could be. It's very possible. In fact, uh, it's already started. <laughs> Bob's getting gray. Yeah. Tom's getting old, yeah. <laughs> this is Greg Todd, Channel 6 News. Oh, I feel so much better now. You know, Bob? Yes. I don't want to say that most of the women that you go out with have questionable morals or anything, but... Last Gail. Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved. Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is Tom! <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We will be more than ready to talk with Al Jackson here any moment as he helps Tom... Looking Navigate to in today's world. That's right. I'm still intrigued by this couple who got married in the uh, disco bathroom. Why? At the hop shop. Because it's something you would never do. I think it's fun. I think it's kind of fun, sure. Uh, it's, it's the famous disco bathroom. Yeah. You hit the this. red button and the ball starts um, spinning. I can't, I can't tell how many, how many people were able to uh, attend the wedding. I'm sure they held the bathroom door open. You think so? Yes. All right. Uh, so it's, cram everybody in there. <laughs> it's unisex. Every, everyone, everyone is welcome. Yes. Um, and uh, we don't know about the honeymoon. No. Um, Where do you think they honeymooned? I, well, I, I was, as I suggested, perhaps the come and go. Um, we are uh, waiting, Al. Oh, here we go. There's Al there Jackson. Right there he is. Right there, Al. Hey, Al. How are you, sir? Hey, who's honeymooning? Uh, hey. A couple got married what in your, your home state, Ohio. Um, and did you guys on your show, The Daily Blast Live, did you talk about the um, disco bathroom this chain is doing? Uh, they've uh, fixed up a bunch of their bathrooms. There's a, there's a so-called party button. You hit the button and disco lights shine. and It's very, very festive. <laughs> but wait, it's for people that are already in the bathroom currently using the bathroom? Yeah. Yes. Do you stay in the bathroom to party or do you do your business and you just have like a 30 second party depending on what uh, is the goes. issue that brought you into the bathroom? I, I think the disco. This is like is, a takeoff of like the disco cab. Remember when those sure. were big where yeah. you would get in and they would turn the lights on. It's like, oh, you're in disco cab, but like you don't know why you, that person's in your cab. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, a similar I, idea. I don't know if this is a. I don't know if this is the move. The bathroom is, uh, what do you call that? Super gross. Yeah. And people want to spend as limited amount. I, is, am I the only one I hold my breath automatically when I walk in the bathroom? Even automatically. your own? Even your own because bathroom? It, yeah, no, no my, mine is fine. But a public, like when okay. I'm, I'm at work, like there's always somebody that just is destroying yes. it. Yeah. And I'm like, that's that should have happened at home. You brought that. Inside of you to work. Why Tom did you do Griswold. that? That's a home thing. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not for work. That should be an emergency. If you're using the bathroom at work, uh, it, like uh, that's a failure to plan or uh, a bad chicken salad. But it can't be like, yo, every day at ten o'clock. It's like, nah, that's a home thing. <laughs> okay, so you're not you're not in favor then of the disco bathroom. No, because what if you're using the regular bathroom as a regular person and it turns into a disco bathroom? Do they clear the bathroom before it becomes a disco bathroom? I don't think no. so. Is it a one-seater? 
Is no, it? I don't know if it's a one hitter. That's a fair question, Christy. I don't think oh. so. I think it's a little bit bigger than that, but uh, hmm. we can explore that when we have time. Oh, the you. Uh, now, um, I, I'll, I'll tell our listeners this, Tom, as a, as a uh, person who's been traveling for 25 years, a uh, little secret. And uh, I, I look, I'm sorry, but uh, the women's, uh, the unisex bathroom that's for women that have babies, yeah. where they have the big changing station, mm -hmm. that's where you want to go. If you got to handle other business because it's huge in there, it's like an RV <laughs> and it's just you. It's got the his and her sinks, uh, that a that that's futuristic hand dryer, like for it's from the Running Man, <laughs> and I I I I've felt bad because I've opened the door and there's a real mother and child waiting for me, oh. and I was just in there marinating, uh, you know. But look, uh, traveling's stressful, so uh, you know. Yeah, that changing table um, though is uh, those changing tables are germ farms. You don't want to get near them. <laughs> yeah, you're better off changing it. Well, floor. what you're doing on them. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, now, uh, Al, uh, we speak with Al every week, and the topic is uh, language. Trying to get a little bit hipper, see what's going on out there. Uh, what have you got uh, for me language. today, Language. Tom, I've been, I, I feel like we've been starting off with difficult ones, so I want to start with one that you've definitely heard, and I want to see if you exactly know the definition. Uh, what is the phrase, let them or let me cook me? Let me cook me? <laughs> no. No, let, let me, me cook. cook. Oh, 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 let me cook. What does that mean? Oh, let me cook. Uh, I, obviously, it's not a reference to actually cooking. No. Uh, um, I don't it, think you should be uh, allowed to ask any questions. Because that, uh, I, I think yeah, that, that's to, the kind uh, of okay, question okay. that, yeah. Hmm. Let, let <laughs> me does cook. it mean I'll take over the conversation? You're, you're sitting there talking to some people. I'll tell you what, let me cook. And then you expound and uh, put the yeah, topic. I have, might I have be. a guess? That's a no, guess. You, you actually hear this in sports a lot. Oh. Hmm. Uh, There's a phrase, uh, let Russell Wilson cook, the former quarterback of the Denver Broncos. Let him cook. What, were they, what did they mean by that? Give let Russ cook. Give him a break? What does it mean to let Christy cook? Let her take the ball almost and run? The, <laughs> I, almost, the ops, almost the opposite. Uh, it's just like uh, if, uh, if, if, you know, the show starts, and uh, uh, I'll use uh, Josh because he's always just on point. Uh, you know, if Josh is like not, you know, really into it yet and somebody's like, hey, what's going on with Josh? You say, chill out. Josh got this. Let him cook. Like, let him get into it. Let uh -huh. him get comfortable and he's going to do what he does. So it's like, let me cook for a second before you before you get on my back, basically. Yeah, my original guess was let me think about it. Let me just think about it. Let me cook on that. Like, so no, it, it's, it. It, it means, it means he's at that, though. I like that. It, it, he's not ready to be served yet. Yeah. He's cooking. He's cooking over there. Right. Yeah. But eventually, but you eventually don't, you don't throw the dish out. Well, no, serves dish. means something he else. Tasted that dish. Serves, but he'll get there. Serves very. I'm, yeah. You, you just got served. That's a oh, very old. No. Uh, no. no. But you know what that I mean. Means you I'm just extending. Yes. That's what that means. <laughs> I'm extending the analogy. He's, right, co he's right. cooking right now, and uh, in five minutes from now, Josh is going to chime in with some witticism yes. that will be uh, ready to go. It's up to temperature and ready to eat. Right. Yeah. Keep your hands out of it for now. Okay. So Back let, to let food, but okay. Okay. Yes. We got it. I got it. I'll right. take it. He's got it. Okay. Tom. Yes, sir. You. This should hit you because you actually have uh, had several of these. Baby girl. <laughs> when would you use that phrase? When would you say that to somebody? How would you use baby girl in slang uh, yeah. terminology? Uh, don't look at me. Um, You're baby girl. Well, I have four daughters. So I, I okay. Yes. Uh, I usually I say something like, "Hey, girlfriend, where do you want to go for lunch?" <laughs> to my eight-year-old daughter. Are you a black woman when you want to go to lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, hey, you girlfriend. Call your eight-year-old daughter, your girlfriend. That's funny though. You're just, just being, a phrase. You're you're being being hey, 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 girlfriend. Being, yeah, you're being you're being silly with your daughter. Uh, once again, I, I, I believe I'm uh, culturally inappropriately uh, uh, How about a, acquiring uh, a term. Um, I'm uh, on a. Uh, I, I have a. A, 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 I'm with a woman who I like, um, but we haven't quite dated. It's kind of flirty for me to go, uh, hey, let's go to Starbucks. Uh, I got you, baby girl. I'll buy you a, a venti uh, drink. Mm, that yeah. seems somewhat forward to me. Now, babe, yeah, well, that's the thing, and that's what I was going to say. Tom, you're on top of it, but he used it the correct way. Baby girl is a term of endearment, like you're kind of like 
you get special treatment as a girl. So, like, if if you guys were going to Starbucks and you went every day at lunch, Josh, and then one day you were like, baby girl, what you want? She definitely is like, Ooh, oh, he's... we're not. He doesn't just see me as his desk mate. Right. Yes. Something, right. Something's going down. Right. Baby girl is like a term of endearment. Like, hey, uh, you know, Christy on this show, she, she and Jess Hooker, they are baby girls. So it's like, hey, uh, you know, pull the car around and get the umbrella. Baby girl's coming. I don't want to get wet. <laughs> yeah. It's so you want to take care of her. I, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll let her something about getting time. her wet. That's extraordinarily well, sad. I, mean. I think it's raining. <laughs> oh, I, I, missed, I missed that part. Of, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, what else? So, Tom, please use a, please, please, oh, for the love boy. of God, please use the term baby girl. <laughs> oh, for the Lord. Um, <laughs> Chick, you can leave if you need the to. The uncomfortableness <laughs> meter is all the way to the right. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I don't see me using that, really. I can't pull it off. I don't uh, know. Let's say uh, your your girlfriend is at the sink, and she's uh, frustrated with uh, the, the dishes, and somebody left cereal from the morning, and it's dried on the bowl, and she's kind of, you walk, hey, I got this, baby girl. Go sit down. And she'd say, of course you've got it. You always Perfect. do the dishes. Uh. <laughs> that's part You're of, doing well, something uh, to help. It's part, it's part of the system. Hey, home. baby girl, I got this. <laughs> You go, uh, you go yeah. watch. You go watch that show with the the the, the police and the uh, doctors all the time. Oh, I feel like I've seen an episode. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin it. Uh, 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 the Griswolds uh, at home. <laughs> she watches Grey's Anatomy. Oh, so okay. To chill. Uh, that's, ah, baby that, girl, that, you that, sit there. You a watch. lot of yeah. My ex-wife used to watch Grey's Anatomy on a loop. Really? Like it was just uh, it was just on. All the time, and it's been on for what twenty five seasons. So I've you never can, seen it's one. really what like, yeah. It's I think it's like uh, like uh, Law and Order SVU. Like either you've only seen like one or two, or you've seen them all nine times. Mm. Some of the characters there's, have gotten so like old they call it just a dick. I'm sorry. Oh, some of the characters have gotten so old they call it Gray Anatomy now. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Thought this was a morning Mc comedy. Mc <laughs> <laughs> There's the main guy, McCraggy. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a series you've watched multiple multiple times? Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh Modern Family. I've seen oh, every episode okay. multiple times. Friends, I've seen every episode okay. multiple times. Seinfeld. Chip? Oh, yeah. So, uh, um, X-Files. Sopranos, uh, Six Feet Under, okay. uh, stuff like that. Al, what's your uh, the show you've watched the oh, most? Uh, man, I've watched Veep a lot. I think Veep is hilarious. It's, so, yeah, it's I've watched almost Veep. too funny, uh, really yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it, it's tricky. I mean, uh, Josh, it's like one of those things where even though it's probably what made in 2014, 2015, you're like, oh, you couldn't say that now. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's just a really it's a it's a really cool show yeah it's just it's just funny and it just kind of they kind of talk like adults do so brilliant i that that's definitely my what about cool. you, uh, tom do you watch anything on repeat i i'm guessing not not really i used to watch mike and molly on kind of i bet you've seen uh, every I, i've seen every episode of mike and molly because that used to be on when i would wake up and i bet you've seen a few multiple times too yeah oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a great show He's great watched gilligan's yeah. island shout out billy gardell andy, andy great griffith dude. <laughs> Yeah, Andy Griffith, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Veep is great. I do, of, of the adult shows, that's certainly a great Dobie one. Dobie Gillis, you're a big yes, fan. Of yeah, I haven't seen, I haven't seen All those right, in not, a long time. Uh, now, Al, we got time Tom, for another I word here. I one that I... Oh, go ahead. Okay, this is a phrase that I, I actually think I love this phrase. <laughs> and that phrase is fax, F-A-X, no printer. Hmm. Fax, fax no F-A-X, no printer. All about it means you, I got it. It means you're trying to send a message to someone. They're not getting it. Um, that's a great guess. Oh, that's and not you had a lot of swag on that answer. It's not right, but that was a good guess. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! Don't look. The thing is, don't look too deeply into the how the first word is spelled. That's a big hint. Oh, uh, okay. Facts, no printer. Does it mean facts, as in C T S? Facts. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, they're not taking in the actual reality of the situation. There are a lot of it, facts it, they're ignoring. Really, the the no the the no printer is kind of like a trick because it doesn't really mean anything. It just means like big facts, like that. You could just say, "Look, I'm uh, the, you know, I'm sorry to tell you, but the Kansas City Chiefs are going to repeat as Super Bowl champions." That's facts, no printer. It's just like that's a that's a fact. 
So the the no printer just I think that got tagged on because of the fax with the F A X. But I just love like fax no printer. I think it, it's going to replace big fax because big fax is getting old. Yeah, I miss the fax machine. So, by you the do? way, me too. Yeah, those were cool. Yeah. The sound. <laughs> really? I miss the smell of offices. I miss the smell, and I think it's because my dad had a law office. There was a smell of offices in the 80s of copier toner and a lot of paper. There was paper in files in file cabinets, and it just is such a distinct smell of just like terrible black coffee <laughs> that was like made and just kind of slowly burning in the back you yeah, know and and remember, like, that, remember that remember that white out stuff oh that yeah little brush white outs that, yeah, that, that can't be openers can you even buy that anymore uh probably probably sure, you can buy yeah. anything yeah, yeah. 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 Sure. is it is it vintage white out creepy uh, well, I bet they still make it. For it probably. Babies. I mean, my kids would never know what that is. My my daughter. I was telling her about a BlackBerry, and she was looking at me like I was, uh, you know, one of the dinosaurs and whatever that movie was. I can't even. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. What's the movie with the Jurassic yes. Park. <laughs> I never watched that movie. Yeah, I. There are certain movies that, like, depending on how old your kids are, you either miss them or you saw them a thousand times. See, I was like Ratatouille, uh, Moana. Mm. Uh, I was in that. I was in that era. So I miss, like, uh, Jurassic Park. I never watched that. I see. I see. Al Jackson is our guest, and um, Al is uh, featured on the Daily Blast Live uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, Al is uh, yes, on, on the panel, as they say. And uh, do you have any live gigs coming up, Al? Uh, I have one. I'm going to be at Brewfest in Cincinnati, and I'm going to come in studio with you guys. I was going to okay. coordinate that with Jess. Uh, yeah, so I'll be uh, there in a co uh, about six weeks. Cool. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, just uh, my album is out and available. Uh, both of them, my comedy album, uh, In Earnest, and my musical debut, uh, which is called Cadence as a Weapon. And it, they're available right now, uh, anywhere that you stream your, your stuff. May no. I ask Go you ahead. a question real quick? I was watching Daily Blast Live Please. last couple of days or last week or something, and you every jacket you wore a black it looked almost like a brooch, like a pin on your yes. lapel. I have never seen that yes. before. Is that a new trend, oh. a style? Is it a I thought maybe it was a hidden microphone no. or a camera or something. No. <laughs> yeah, Christy's trying to avoid it and not speak into it. <laughs> no, I just uh you know it's a uh, after years of wearing suits every single day, you just want a little something to jazz it up. So I, I have like a, a brooch or a pin on the outside. Now, usually, and it's just, I always feel like every person, especially dudes, because dudes don't really, for the most part, care what they wear. I always have a little something just for me. So I usually have a pocket watch in there. I love like, that. Uh, that. Like an uncle or a grandfather gave to me. So like, and you know, I don't show it off, but it's just like, just for me. Like I usually have a little pocket watch on. That's cool. Keep it, keep it extra drip. Right, Tom? Yeah. Extra drip, Tom. Extra it's the, drip. It's in the drip. Respect the drip, Tom. Uh-huh. Okay. You're savoir faire, man. You're okay. cool. Oh, right. he knows. He's fine. Okay. Yeah, he knows well, all Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Al. <laughs> you know, speaking of drip. Yeah. Hey, I love you guys. Bye, yeah, man. Al. Is there anything better than picking up a chicken wing and that sauce is just oh. dripping? Oh. Holy heck, look at this. Oh, look at well, this. we have got some Popeye's oh, chicken wings in the house for us to uh, eat. And man, are we excited. Five crispy, new, juicy flavors. Chick, uh, as you are uh, taking a bite, what flavor do you have over there? I have roasted garlic parmesan. <laughs> All right. My God. I've got signature hot, sweet and spicy. <clears throat> they are crispy and so juicy on the inside. The sauces are just <laughs> exploding with flavor. I have ghost pepper, and I think I'm going to give that to Ace. I'm a little nervous about the ghost pepper. It uh, might be a tad. I, I'd be nervous. I have, I have uh, the uh, honey barbecue. Oh, man. I'm Look gonna bite that. into it from Popeyes, shall I? Yes, please. It's just drenched in that wonderful sauce, tangy, sweet, so good. You keep talking. I'm busy over here. Uh, no, that's fine. And, man, I, uh, man, these things... Look at these drummies, Christy. Yes, please. I have sweet and spicy. Oh, just like yourself. Mm. A little bit of uh, sugar mm. and sass. That's Ooh. Christy Lee <laughs> for you. Those are good. Ace, do you Very have one good. over there? Not okay, well, you're going to be getting the ghost pepper, and I think you're going to really love it. You're, you're our spicy... Well, Ace is our uh, guy when it comes to the hot stuff. Absolutely. You know, you probably saw the uh, special advertisement on the big game for Popeye's. With our friend, comedian Ken Jong, where he falls asleep and he wakes up and, well, oh my gosh, what's happened? Popeyes has done this finally. Yes. 
Yes, Popeyes, uh, you, you love them, you know them, and now they finally have big chicken wings. These drummies are uh, pretty sizable. Yeah. Plump. You can take uh, huge bites off of them. Get them while they last. Go to Popeyes, order some wings, maybe pick them up for, for uh, coworkers, friends, neighbors, when you get yourself some, too. Again, five crispy, juicy flavors, sweet and spicy, ghost pepper, signature hot, honey barbecue, and roasted garlic parmesan chick. How you enjoying it? <laughs> So good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, these uh, are simply true. I had the garlic parmesan and the uh, the honey barbecue. My the honey good. barbecue. Mm. You know the what else is great? A plus. Right. So good. Wait, how many places can you pull up uh, to a drive through and get really quality wings in a flash? You normally Seconds. have to go sit down and wait. No, yeah. no. Popeye's wings, uh, just terrific. Give them a shot. I think you're going to enjoy them. And I think the term that Al just taught us about um, about waiting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said you got a, you, you got an idea and you let it you gestate for a long time and then aha, voila! That's why Popeyes took so long to come out with the wings. Yeah, they wanted to perfect it. They got they it done. It I'll say they have. They nailed it. Thank Popeyes you very much. wings. Check them out. All right. Thank you very much, Josh. And thanks for the wings. Uh, that was so delicious. Uh, coming up, uh, we have uh, the NASA uh, Mars simulator. They're looking for volunteers. Also, uh, in France, sex way down. Oh, what a weird story that is. Yeah. And uh, seniors apparently love virtual reality. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, you know, why not? Sure. They can be young again. This sure is better than my real reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my back doesn't hurt now. <laughs> uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Third and goal, hit Golden Showers. Tate on a slant that was initially ruled a touchdown with eight seconds left. After review, the play was overturned. As you can see, he's short of the goal line. Uh, no, he's not. And yes, he is. He's way short of the goal line. He's like half. He's like an entire ball short of the goal line. The football, Tom. Uh, so that's with eight seconds left. They had to stop play, look at the re review. That, but then, due to a rule that causes a 10-second runoff when a clock is stopped by officials and then restarted, the game ended. What? With what? eight seconds left. What's they the point so they of didn't that another play? In theory, the Lions could have lined up with a fourth down play as time expired, but the initial call of a touchdown is actually what disallowed that possibility. God. Why? The rule exists because the rules committee led by Don Shula, <laughs> the only curves on he wheels in, sons of bitches. I hate all you young mother. You want to learn how to uh, avoid a-holes in your life? <laughs> yeah! I do. Yes, I do! I, I, out of this I do, Christy. I come in early. <laughs> uh. Uh, apparently, there is a gentleman, Robert Sutton, a professor of organizational behavior and engineering at Stanford University, has written two books about a-holes and how people can survive them. Here are his suggestions. It's pretty easy. Steps to avoid and change the a-hole in your life. Does it involve uh -huh. not going to an axe-hurling bar? <laughs> Number one, create physical distance. One of the most reliable ways to become an a-hole is to be around them. I've got to go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am out of here.
Miami, Cincinnati, Boston. I mean, it's. I got you. But no Houston? No Houston. Not Houston. to this. Houston, Houston, Houston. 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 Houston.
of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Yeah, but sometimes we make promises. And we, you know, there's just simply, yeah, I know. I, I, there's I do, just simply no way we can come through. I do that all the time. I say yeah. coming up next that I forget. Yeah, and, oh, absolutely. But, but, so that's why I'm going to press this button. And, it's really uh, perfect. All the things you've forgotten. Ace Cosby, Remember this, here sir. he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick. <laughs> yes, Ace. <laughs> You know, uh, we all know Peter Parker. He had bit in high school by that spider. Became Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, he did. He became Spider Man <laughs> when, <laughs> when he went to college. What was his major? Uh, I don't know. What was Peter Parker, who turned into Spider Man's major when he went into college? Web design. <laughs> that was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. I like this. That was thrilling. That was fun. Did you like that? Web. Get it? Oh, no, I didn't care for it. I didn't care for it, no. I... Didn't you go to Webster University? I did. Uh -huh. Yeah, but if you ever have to say something about a joke and use the term, get it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know. All right, well, we'll get another one coming up. Okay. Uh, but that's going to be right. told at a water cooler in just a few minutes. Hot somewhere dog. In this I great can't, I can't wait. I will dumb it down for you. Oh! I appreciate that, Ace. Thank okay. You. Now, um, <laughs> we have Christy Lee at the news. Wait a minute. What else is happening? A Stanford University study finds seniors enjoy virtual reality huh. for the study which is part of a larger effort to adapt vr for seniors health and well-being saw 245 participants between the ages of 65 and 103 <gasps> testing out one of seven minute virtual experiences participants were able to try out scenarios such as parachuting Riding in a tank. Sophia Loren handy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Watching stage. May West handy, the guy for the guy that's 103. <laughs> Watching stage performances, playing with puppies and kittens, oh. or visiting places like Paris or Egypt. Researchers found nearly 80% of seniors reported having a more positive attitude after their VR session, and almost 60% said they felt less isolated socially. That makes, all of this makes sure. sense. Tons of sense. That's pretty Absolutely. wonderful. Yes. You put on, the, put on the VR goggles, and uh, this is great. You know, I can gun down a bunch of young punks. Oh, not, huh? That's the We're Grand not. Torino VR. <laughs> and these would, uh, yeah. The special get off my lawn game. Uh, uh, uh. Wait a minute. I, I've got a really good one. It's called driving at night again. <laughs> this is great. About 75% of caregivers said residents' moods improved drastically after using VR. How nice. Yeah. It takes their mind off their back pain or whatever they're dealing with. And maybe you know what I never got to go. I never got to see the uh, the Great Pyramids, and then they throw that yeah. on, and they feel like they're there. This is even more, I think, special for them. One of the executives at Mind, uh, they provide the VR sets. Chris Brickler said his company's systems are soon going to attach to Google Earth, so seniors will be able to virtually visit neighborhoods where they lived, schools they attended, and places they have visited sparking further conversations with caregivers and those in maybe the and, homes they live in. Well, and that's, they'll be visiting the contemporary yeah, place they, they used to live. Yeah, they can't go back time, obviously, but... Well, things sure look different. Oh, <laughs> Let's no. not oh, no, no, run no, no, down no, 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 no. even a couple of things on the list that you think look different. <laughs> My great-grandpa right. used to revisit his old neighborhood and people he knew... He had Alzheimer's, of course. <laughs> uh huh. But uh, I think this VR is a little healthier. <laughs> I, it's great. But what are they doing in real life? Like, I mean, if, is an, if an old person's in, on the VR playing with puppies and kittens, mm -hmm. do, and I walked into their room, do I see them just tossing around some slippers? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> what are they really safe doing? Area where they're working it yeah, out. Yeah, they would have to be in a safe area. There's a little You're box right. Off area for the There's VR. probably someone sitting with them. Sure. And, unless they're. I mean, I've never used a yeah. VR headset. Have you? Yes. Is there? I dare I ask. I assume that there is VR a pornography. Uh, there's a ton. And here's the thing: I have never done that because the only time I've ever tried VR, it was like when my nephew got one for Christmas, and it was Christmas Eve, and we were all yeah. trying oh, it out. Okay. Stuff. So I didn't. I didn't go. Hey, let me go into the bathroom real quick. <laughs> oh, I just want to see. Yeah, but and, no. There's a ton of VR. And then porn. is is the uh, how is it loaded onto the device? Is it? Uh, I'll uh, just go up to the internet. Yeah, yeah. It, mu it must be. I don't think you load it into the device. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think no, it, they're the like VR, a monitor. Yeah, the VR would hook to the internet, wouldn't it? I, you know what? I'm trying to watching. think how the hell we, because uh, we were playing games and doing stuff. I don't know how they, how they man, interact. I, I never thought I'd be the old guy asking I about know. video game, how they, I'm how sorry. the video games worked. The one time I did it, it was, um, it was like a demonstration of a circus thing. 
Oh, when you walk you, down well, the yeah, tightrope? You, you walk across the tightrope and you look down. Ooh, and was... it, Do you feel like you're going to fall? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great. It was very cool. Yeah, it is cool. But yeah, the notion of you visiting your old neighborhood, that'd be cool. Uh-huh. I'd like to do that as a 45-year-old man. Like go, I want to go to 1920s Times Square. Oh, that would be cool. I don't know if they can do that. I, it'd be, they will it'd eventually. Be it'll yeah. be yeah. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it'll be amazing. Yeah. yeah. Take, take you back to Normandy. I, I don't think I, that program's got to be pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, yeah. I don't know if I'd want, I, uh, no. I'd want that one. Same thing. I got sweaty watching Saving Private Ryan. I don't need uh, to strap on a headset. Okay. Okay. No, yeah. no I thanks. Don't, I don't want to go too far back. Okay. Well, well, well yeah. your avatar can look different. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. I mean, you never thought I'd be uh, your best friend in this room, did you? <laughs> but here I am. Uh, that is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> this is where, Christy, you should go, hey, uh, Pat, you got a song? <laughs> you know. Hey, Pat, you have a song? I have a song. Yeah, you have time? Yeah, go. What do you got? Hey, Christy, we always tease you about that party where you had, the polo party where you got hit by the the horse. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. She, did, what happened? You broke your, what was it again? I got hit in the face by a horse, and it... <laughs> broke your eye socket? <laughs> you never told us the horse's name. I don't know the horse's oh, name. Oh, boy. <laughs> the horse had no name, Tom. Okay. Christy, what... All right, here we're going to start again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chicken or rubber. Boy, he, no. he bitches when they have an intro, and he bitches when Chicken, we don't you, have an intro. Tom goes, a chicken erupted you. <laughs> Christy went to a polo party with the polo ponies all around him. There was wine and cheese and white claw, and a DJ was spinning new sounds. Christy had a few wines and was feeling no pain, having fun and getting buzzed. All true. She went to nuzzle, cute little horsey, but he wasn't feeling it just because. She got headbutted at a party by a horse with no name, and now her eye is black and inflamed. At the party, she couldn't remember her name, and there ain't no pills for to give you no pain. La, 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 this is where everybody sings. La, 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 la. Well, thank you, Pat. Uh, what's coming up, Christy Lee? Uh, coming up, one in four French aren't having the sex that they used to. Oh, that is right. Is, we do, are no longer. Are make. you supposed to smile for your passport photo? Is that allowed? Oh, I don't know. No, you're not allowed no, to. I don't think no. you're, uh, no. you're not allowed to. We'll Absolutely not. <laughs> no. We all know we're not allowed to. Okay. And <laughs> live bugs removed from a guy's face. Ugh. <laughs> That's the worst. Uh, that's don't even inside his. Don't face. don't look at that story. It's, I'm it's not awful. gonna. Okay, look okay. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Hi, this is Augie Smith, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, Augie, Mark Allison with you. Looking for something to do after the show's over today? Well, you can check out some of our podcasts or just keep it here on Bob and Tom Radio. We'll roll right into Bob and Tom's work farce. All the fun without really that much effort. Keep that smile going all day and keep your coworkers guessing what's making you so happy. It's us here on Bob and Tom Radio. As a reminder, Kostaki Economopolis out on the road tonight. Frankfurt, Kentucky, you'll be live at Port. 
supporters on stage one night only. Then tomorrow night, the Black Sheep in Huntington, West Virginia. Again, Friday night only, February 23rd. And Greg Warren appearing this weekend, Friday, February 23rd, and Saturday the 24th at the Funny Bone in Dayton, Ohio. That's Greg Warren Comedy. Dot com for more as we're rolling through a Thursday morning with you right here on Bob and Tom Radio. Good morning. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee with your Bob and Tom Entertainment News Update. Foreigner guitarist Mick Jones has revealed he's dealing with Parkinson's disease. Jones, who's 79, says in a statement, he was diagnosed a number of years ago. He's doing all right, but he's at its best when he's on stage, and right now that's a bit difficult. He says he's still involved in the background with Foreigner. Jones says the disease is a daily struggle. The important thing is to persevere. And a judge in New York will continue hearing testimony today in a criminal case involving ownership of those handwritten lyrics for the songs on the Hotel California album by the Eagles. Three men are charged with trying to obscure how they obtained the lyrics while Don Henley has said they were stolen. Henley is expected to testify next week. Lawyers for the three men say those documents were not stolen And the men did nothing illegal in buying and trying to sell them. And Billy Corgan wants you to watch wrestling for free. Corgan, also president of the National Wrestling Alliance, has announced a deal to stream NWA events for free on the CW app. The program NWA Power is available now with new episodes available on Tuesdays. The CW will air an unscripted and unyet untitled series about Corgan later this year. It'll be about his family, his job as president of wrestling, and, of course, about the Smashing Pumpkins. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. This man performed the first figure skating triple jump in competition. <laughs> Dick Button. And when um, he would commentate, he would say, look at that. Uh, oh, he yeah. especially oh, liked yeah. to watch the uh, women skater. The, your Peggy Fleming. Your... Oh, he did? Hmm. Oh, by the way, what's the green in skates? What? Peggy, Peggy Flem. Flem. <laughs> One of the classics if you know who Peggy Fleming is and you're you digging an Alka Seltzer right now. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 7. Hi, this is Andy Kindler, and this is a different register in my voice. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. So continue. When your horse says run, it's very last race, and there's nothing left to do. Giddy up, giddy up. We don't think it's very good taste to turn him into glue. Giddy up, giddy so up. if your horse has lost his stuff and his legs aren't thin and bone, giddy up, giddy up. if his meat ain't very tough, then he comes to Burger Pony. Now, when you come into any participating Burger Pony restaurant and order our swale and a pail, every kid in your group will receive a free hot fudge Sunday silence. And don't forget our Clint Eastwood <laughs> Western spaghetti. <laughs> And our delicious burgers, including the Daily Double and the Triple Crown. <laughs> and remember our motto, if we're not in your neighborhood yet, your neighbors have probably passed a petition. <laughs> <laughs> so if your horse has lost his stuff and his legs aren't thin and bony, and if his meat ain't very tough, then he comes to Burger Pony. Comes to Burger Pony. Comes to Burger Pony. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. (laughs) Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7. 24 7. So, what else is in your room? I have dogs playing poker. I have three of the dogs playing poker on the wall. You have dogs playing poker on yeah. the wall. The big yeah, velvet right. the painting? painting. Is it not a tapestry? The velvet. They're not velvet. Is it no. a tapestry? I do have dogs playing poker. A tapestry. One of them, but no, they're not the tapestry. Oh, mm-hmm. I uh, yeah, the other tapestry that I gave you of my face. It has actually uh, my. Comforter, I have that. That's in my living room. Can I tell you this honestly? In tr- all truth, my comforter is at the dry cleaners right now, and my your tapestry is on my bed right now. I slept oh, underneath God. it last night. <laughs> Is he facing up or down? He's facing down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry, I I've never slept oh, better. Man. Really? <laughs> Comedian Nathan Trenholm in the studio with us. Now, Nathan, where, where are you living now? I'm, uh, I'm living in Los Angeles oh. now. Mm-hmm. And I live with a guy and a girl. And uh, actually, the last time I was in town, I had some cookies. And I offered some of the cookies to my roommates. 
And the girl just got all mad at me. She's like, Nathan, I'm an actress. Actresses can't have carbohydrates. <laughs> I was like, you know, you mispronounce that word. Uh-huh. It's pronounced waitress. <laughs> You're a waitress. They don't say we didn't warn you. Oh my God! There's laughter ahead. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hey. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and in order to look busy, Tom's wiping his counter down now. No, no, there was an issue. We're, 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 Spill we're, again? We're fine now. Everything's okay. We have a uh, an interesting observation from someone who's been listening for almost 30 years. Okay. It goes like this. It's from Mike. Uh, dear Chuckleheads, like that's us. That. Yeah, I've listened for almost thirty years, and I try to never miss a Thursday show. Oh, it seems that's when everyone is the most irritated with each other, <laughs> and therefore <laughs> the best chance for an incident. <laughs> well, well stated. Now, this this, guy, this guy's done day. his homework. <laughs> this is from Mike, and I believe this is Hamilton uh, down by Cincinnati. How about that? So thank you, thank Mike. you Mike. Much That's appreciated. An interesting observation. <laughs> and by gosh, I did come unglued earlier today. I remember I think that. He's right. I think you might be. I, I think at one point I, Tom uh, teased the story, and I said that sounds like it sucks. <laughs> yes, so, so. I, think, I, I said I think I told Tom Jesus Christ, would you shut up? I think <laughs> yes. you, you just said that to Josh during seven, the break. Seven yes. o'clock hour. Josh, yes, yes, during the break. Josh I asked you a reasonable question. Do you remember the question? I said, are they making microwaves that are also air fryers now? And, and you I, said... And I said, I wonder if you could shut up. <laughs> yeah, see, you, that's exactly what yeah. happened. I insinuated yeah. that you didn't work. I, I feel bad about that, talking about Mars. Oh, I missed that, or I would have told you to shut up. <laughs> Ace is clearly mad at us because he's done more than one joke of the day. Yeah. But we're doing three today. Yeah, three. <laughs> yeah. And um, now, uh, let's get back to this Mars thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's NASA's get back to that. seeking applicants to participate in its next simulated one-year Mars surface mission. I am there. I am so, totally So there. you get locked up with three other people, though, right? Am I getting it right? Yeah, you, there are four. <laughs> yes, you are. I cannot wait. Can we nominate <laughs> Chick? Yes. It's set Send to begin me. in the spring of 2025. A group of four volunteers will live and work inside. That's where I said live and work, and then oh, I thought oh, this is it. perfect for you, Chick. But then I read the work part, and that's when I got <laughs> That's insinuated. where you got me. Yeah. Chick, you can't do this. You in can't. In spring of 2025, you'll be filming The Golden Bachelor. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. well, that's gonna right. Be, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get the call for that any day. Yeah. This will be on the Mars Dune Alpha. Also, I, I hate to break it to you, but you have to be between 30 and 55 years old. I could lie. I could, I could pass for Yeah, you could Discrimination. lie. Discrimination. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Discrimination. Yeah, just... Uh, applicants should have a strong desire for unique, rewarding adventures and interest in contributing to NASA's oh. work to prepare for the first human journey to Mars. I, I didn't want you to specify. I was out when you said desire. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was out. The Remember 17- when you used to... Care? Yeah, yeah. Man, I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, I sure wish I liked things. The Remember 1700 that? 1,700-square-foot, <laughs> 3D-printed habitat is designed to resemble the living conditions of a crew of astronauts that will land on the Martian surface in the future. Oh, there's that, too. You have to also meet all the requirements for a NASA astronaut. So oh, so can, it's yeah. going to be very difficult. Oh, that's yeah. where they spin you around and the they yeah. try to get you to vomit. Right. They call the thing the Vomit Comet or Ooh. something or whatever mm. that is. The Vomit Comet is the airplane that uh, oh, here we dives, go. Yeah. so it's, so the, it's the, you're the, weightless, weightless for whatever for a second. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are some people that don't know. They made that. Uh, you know, for someone who hates <laughs> science, <laughs> who, who hates science and pretty much anything that comes from the intelligence side of the world, <laughs> you certainly benefit from it with your, your you walked in this morning because you're phone was on SOS and in total panic uh, and then you <laughs> and then you, if, if, you, if you don't if you don't have your television set you'd lose your mind you should go on one of those religious retreats they, <laughs> they stick you in a stick you in some monk's quarters you know with no electronics for a I weekend I would like you to go somewhere <laughs> and I really I won't specify just so it's not where I am there is a religious be. component to where you'd like him to go yeah yeah yes. certainly perhaps a, certainly. a fallen whether, angel once went possibly I mean, you know <laughs> debate rages on whether it exists or not sure. But sure sure if you would like to apply for this you have until Tuesday April 2nd if you would like to live in the Mars simulator, and, you and, have NASA. And there, and there are no breaks, right? You don't. 
No, you don't no, get to come you, out. You don't get to come out it's not like weekends. If you're on Mars, you get to come home for right. the weekend. That would not be a uh, proper simulation. No, I, I, can you communicate with? I, I, like, could you have phone calls? I'm sure you can because I'm sure in, um, in Mars you'll be able to communicate. call home. Yeah, but I wonder what it's like. I wonder if it's hey. Uh, I'm three calling days you. Late or something. Yeah, and I'm talking when I'm as I'm yeah. talking. It's three months in the future or right. in the past or whatever the hell. That'd be cool. Hmm. You couldn't really have a movie. conversation. It would be if there'd be a huge delay. Maybe. Yeah, that would drive you How crazy. How they do in the movie, Ace? In the movies I've seen, they, you know, they do a message today and you don't get it for months ah. on Earth. Yeah. Well, I hope maybe that's based on some sort of fact. Yeah. Hmm. But um, Mars. And the, obviously they get paid. Yes. They're not telling you what the pay. No, that it says in the story there is compensation that it will be talked to. It, if you would get through this process, they'll tell you how much it is. Oh, yeah. Wow. See, this is where I think NASA could make some money by having some sponsorship. Oh, uh huh. Oh, sure. You, you have it brought to you by Netflix. Uh, serve Mars serve Mars bars. You'd love that, Josh. Yes, um, yes, yeah. Of course, I would. Yeah, I'm, I'm the go. only one who likes right. candy bars. <laughs> He's just. Did bars I awesome. not ask for candy during the break? You did. I did. You did. Yeah. And, and I asked anyone. And did where did you find it? My cabinet's <laughs> butt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is true. I may have found it. The fact is that a, what you two were doing in his office? Yes. Pawing each other, looking for candy bars. We weren't pawing each other. It looked like yeah, we were eating bats. Mm -hmm. Compensation for participating yeah, in yeah, the mission. Yeah, Josh came out and goes, "Okay, what? That was good and plenty." <laughs> what was that? <laughs> don't ever do that again. No, no. no, 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 no that was really I, I go the other way. Don't yeah. ever stop. Yeah, don't never go. always be that no. guy. Oh, that guy had good blunt. That good and plenty. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep, yep. Keep doing that. Um, Ace your thoughts. No, my, my, my problem with this is it's, it's you and three other people. Yeah, last time it was two guys and two girls. Oh, like you could exist with three people you put... In. No, I, that's you, my... You hit the lottery one time with three other people. You that's couldn't... That's about it. No, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're missing my point. I, there's only three of you. I mean, if there were 12, at least you could... There's, there's a little more opportunity to find someone who's interested. Could you live by yourself? Could he, you I, live by yourself no for there's a year? No, there's no way. No. I, I'm not you talking about on Mars. I'm just saying in He would your cease house. to exist without telling someone what to do. <laughs> he, would, he would be talking at various uh, 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 grocery stores, malls, <laughs> trying to tell people. That's where he would go all day to I'd tell be boss, people. Uh, bossing the bugs around. <laughs> yes, that's what he'd do. Hey, Mr. Mouse, that's not how you eat cheese, buddy. <laughs> boy, oh, You're gonna be, you are going to be bound up. I've seen I think I'm going to have to take a straw and ream you out so you can use it again. Oh, no. no. That's so you Tom's got, private house. So you're walking around alone. grabbing mice and shoving <laughs> straws up their ass. And that what, I would, what would you say to the mouse? Uh, I, that, that was douchey. See what's happening. See, Josh's mouth has moved so much, he, he talks like this, you see. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, yeah, your jaw's right. sore, your lips are overworked. Right, right, uh -huh. right, right. So, and this thing, this I was looking this over, it's called the Mars Dune Alpha. Yes. Are they trying to... Play on the TV, the movie Dune. Is that the thing? I have no idea. Okay. I've not seen. And what was Dune. the cartoon you said you saw, Josh, about Dune, uh, or the pre the preview or something? I, uh, hmm? No, it was. Oh, chick, chick, you saw it about Dune. About the onion. I know. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Something about. It. Yeah, they just, said that Dune Two starts off just after uh, Dune One started boring you. So yeah. there. Okay. I did. I have not seen Dune, but I have. I've read uh, the, some of the books. There. Of course you have. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, That's why he doesn't use his phone all the time. <laughs> yeah. Did you enjoy the book? <laughs> who need, who needs uh, They're nerdy, and yes. Okay. Yeah. There you go. I could barely sit through the preview. Well, I think uh, I have a gnawing uh, uh, kind of Tom's voice. You would probably like that Dune. I might, uh, I might, uh, I, I would like that. I, would, mm -hmm. I think okay. so. Um, I have one more NASA story, and then I'll shut up. Astronomers found what may be the brightest object in the universe. Me. The quasar shines <laughs> oh. 500 trillion times brighter than our sun. Quasar. While the black hole at the center is more than 17 billion times more immense than our sun. Think about that. I'd like to see the black hole in the center. Described uh, as a cosmic black hurricane. Holes are fat. The black hole's growing so fast that it swallows the equivalent of a sun per day. <clears throat> what is this boringness? Yeah, I don't know. Is it I'm coming for us? So, yeah, do you want us to talk? does this mean we have to pay our taxes? <laughs> yes, you have to pay your taxes. Oh, so it's not going to eat up to our son? No. Oh. Not anytime soon. All right, well, 
Not that interesting then, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's not that interesting. <laughs> Black holes are terrifying. I love Quasar. Was a TV when we yep. were growing up, wasn't Quasar. it? Quasar. Yeah. yeah. She just did the no, did, did their commercial. Quasar. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, now, what's coming up, Christy Lee? Coming up, one in four French are not having sex. We'll figure out what they're doing. Can you smile for your passport photo? No. New lights in this subway in New York City, and a badger broke into a house. Ah. Thank you. Speaking of house break ins, you don't want one of no. those. That's why we recommend Simply Safe. Home security, the advanced system that protects every inch of your home and backed by 24-7 professional monitoring for fast emergency response for less than a dollar a day. So if your home's threatened, train agents spring into action for emergency dispatch and response. Here's why we love it. Simply Safe is trusted by the experts. Oh, by the way, named best home security system of 20. 20- 24 by U.S. News World Report. And Simply Safe has all the gadgets, HD cameras inside and out, motion sensors, entry sensors, hazard sensors, uh, even detect fire, flooding, freezing, and more. Simply Safe system is easy to set up yourself without any special tools or know how. I did it, but if you prefer, you can get one of their expert technicians to come to your house and install it for you. Plus, with a 60 day risk free trial, if you don't love your system, you can return it for a full refund. And for Bob and Tom Show listeners, of course, course we have a deal for you order now to get 20 percent off any new simply safe system with fast protect monitoring just visit simply safe tom.com that's simply safe tom.com there's no much. safe like simply safe well, thank you very much I'll read the reviews uh it's the best simply safe thank you very much chick this is the bob and tom show bob and tom they put the f in professional thanks so much for listening Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Just in case you were wondering, Cool Whip is winning. Uh, maybe, maybe. Cool Whip is winning over Ready Whip on our survey. It's 31%. Unbelievable. 31% <laughs> Ready Whip and yeah, I told 69%. <laughs> yeah! Nobody else votes. The voting is done. <laughs> <laughs> you see, baby. All right, all right, all right. We understand. We, we understand, we, we understand where everyone's body parts are. Thank you very much. That's Sitting or standing or You're the yin, yeah. I'm all the right. yang. Now take <laughs> my <laughs> big fang, put it by. All right, we got it. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. I met her at the card corral, but I hardly ever say her now. Got wrapped up in sin. When she helped me push it in, set my heart on fire through chrome plated wire, right there at the cart corral. My cart was full of meat and that San Francisco treat. Chunky soup beats like a meal with a dash of squeaky wheel. Roll gain so I won't get bald. Four bags of Epsom salt, two cartons of palm mall. And a copy of Walking Tall. That Buford Pussy was something else. <laughs> yep. Her cart was hunkered down with red bullet crown. Baby seat full of bread, knock same before her head. <laughs> the whole parking lot could see just what she meant to me. Two liter of Mountain Dew and some matters for making stew. Pains in stew, Padassa. <laughs> I met her at the cart corral, but I hardly ever see her now. 
Got wrapped up in sin, but she helped me push it in. It's a parking lot of oasis and all them empty spaces right there. At the car corral, what I like is the parking's free, and you don't have to pay for it. Our carts roll toward the street, about lost half my meat. We kindly hit head on, she was talking on her phone. Everybody stopped and stared when her wings flew in the air. So much for making toast of that string of my pot roast. They give you enough to tie your shoes with. Don't shop that much at all. On the kind of my cholesterol. <laughs> Clean up for now, too. Because my heart just spelled the truth. Cotex value pack. And Jemima on her back. So set in her ways. Better I'll see her in 30 days. <laughs> Get it? Get it. <laughs> I met her at the cart corral. But I hardly never see her now. Got wrapped up in sin when she helped me push it in. I'll probably kick a shine if she will be mine. Right there. Hit the cart corral. Hop the wheelie, hit my pants. Right there. Hit the cart corral. Kylie did a little dance. Clip and save a place for me. Good night. The studio by comedian Darren Carter. Yeah, I'm telling you, styles have changed. You know, gangster rap is popular. And, and say, I can't even fake it. You know, how come I'm going to fake like I'm in a gang? How scary would my gang be? You know, 15 redheads coming to your neighborhood, you know, out there covering a the sunscreen, you know, you know be like wiping it on, talking about, stop pushing me, Trevor. <laughs> Damn it, it's so hot out here. You know? you know, our little gang hand sign would be like, you know, when you hold your hand above your eyebrows, trying to make sunglasses, yeah. Yeah. squinting our eyes. You know? We wouldn't be talking about West Side, East Side. We'd be like, hey, let's Let's go inside. <laughs> shade. Yeah, shady. That's what we'd be on the shady side of the street. We'd only be in neighborhoods with big trees, and we'd be like, shady side, fool. You know? Fifteen redheads talking about shady side. We stay inside because we get sunburned when we go outside. Shady side. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Well, meaning, but. Yeah, they're, they're all messed up. More than. Do the Bob and Tom show. Thanks very much for joining us. Uh, let's see. I look around the room. I see Ace Cosby getting ready for uh, joke number three. Uh, in the Ace Cosby Joke of the Day bonus edition on the Thursday. Uh, Pat Godwin is through the glass there. Just got a few songs out of Pat. Thank you very much. Hey, Tom. And um, I can tell you this. Uh, Pat's going to be back on the road at Lebowski's in Washington, Iowa, coming up Friday, March 23rd, uh, down the road a piece. And uh, we've got a couple of uh, trips on the way. We're going to be visiting, uh, uh, let's see, Charleston, West Virginia, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio coming up. Uh, some other dates that we'll be announcing with some shows. But in the meantime, we return to Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. A recent poll reveals that the French are losing their zest for sex. Hmm. According to a survey from the French Institute of Public Opinion, 25% of French adults said they had no sex over the previous 12 months, compared to 9% in 2006. The proportion of those aged 18 to 24 who had never had sex was 30% up from 5% in 2006. Wow. Well, it's maybe it's a big it's number. Cool to be a virgin now. Hmm. It's all right. Overall, nearly 45% of those polled said they had six, six had sex at least once a week, down from 60% in 2009. This is in France. Yes. So what are these people now doing before they smoke? <laughs> hmm. Well, yes. Uh, the most common distractions, Tom, were watching TV, reading books, uh, go on social media, what? playing video games. I don't even know what a TV is. <laughs> I don't use my phone like you guys do. I, uh, yesterday, I binged my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly my goodness. 40% of French women said they were not having sex as often as they would like. 
That's up from 20% in 1996. However, 69 percent of sexually inactive women and 50 percent of men said they were not bothered by their lack of sex at all how many percent 69 percent of women (laughs) 10 (laughs) percent the grumbling (laughs) 10 percent of the respondents defined themselves as asexual hmm I don't even know what sex is I'm asexual asexual pervert Ah. hey The findings are blow not only to France's <laughs> reputation, but also to President, President Macron's hopes of boosting the French birth rate. I see. They want, he wants people to get busy. Get busy with it. What business is it of his where I have my wiener? Well. You're right. It's really more not. More people, more taxes. Oh, oh. Better roads. <laughs> Maybe they can put that Eiffel Tower back up after taking it apart for the <laughs> Olympics medals. Olympic medals. They have a chunk of the Eiffel Tower. That's a great thing. If you have ever wondered why you cannot smile in your passport photo, officials and travel experts have an explanation. According to the U.S. State Department, travelers need to close their mouths and make sure their eyes are open in photos. According to a department spokesperson, they told USA Today, quote, photos with exaggerated expressions can make it more difficult to readily identify the passport holder. Travel experts said you can likely get away with a slight smile, but in doing so, you run the risk of your photo being rejected. You and then uh, you would then need to submit a new photo, causing the passport application process to take even longer. Huh. And travel consultant Joy Hess also warned of travel delays if self-service machines at passport control cannot match your face to your photo. Hmm. Boy. Oh. Have you ever used a self-service with the photo you have since it's so bad? Did you have a problem? I was told by, uh, while, while re-entering the United States, the uh, uh, gent told me it was the worst passport photo he'd ever seen. Man. It, I, I, I don't know if Just your should... general appearance or the... the uh, it's a terrible photograph. Exposure. I think the, I think the, um, uh, the photographic paper didn't fix or something. I uh. look like, I look like Ace. Not, not that handsome. there's anything wrong with that. Very handsome, but <laughs> yes. I mean, I am, it is uh, not a very... Uh. But, yeah, I really need to get a new passport. I'm afraid that one, one of these days they're not going to let me back in. Well, wow, that'd be a shame. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can't have that happen. Look out there. Yeah, let's get that fixed. Let me do the show. I, I, I think that the... Uh, I think the reason you can't smile is I think the, the deep state doesn't want to even give the illusion of happiness. Uh, <laughs> that's it. When you're taking your uh, the, the photograph, what you're supposed to do is imagine you, that you're being sent to Iran. What? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, wanna look. But, I mean, think about it. When you go through that area, you're, it's it's pretty serious. Yeah. When, when you go through any kind of... Passport control, of course. Yeah, it's always... Yeah, they don't joke around. Oh, I let nope. them know. I let them. Do you? I dare you to search my bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, that. Yeah. You're that Go guy. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. See what you find. Waste all of our time. <laughs> Beardy. <laughs> and then I, I still don't. <laughs> Sad with the beard. <laughs> my, my son drew on mine, and I got in a lot of trouble. And drew then, on your passport? Yeah, in the Honduras. Yeah, coming through that, that area. What did he draw on your picture, or just it on was a, the- an animated Pixar film? I he, the, the angry character from I forget what was the uh, oh Inside the, Out exactly. So, mm-hmm. so who were you hiding from in Honduras? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> At what point did you think it was a good idea to have uh, your son allowed access to your passport? Yeah, no I joke. I was traveling so much there, I was just on the counter because I'd come uh, back from the show. You know how kids are; they grab things, grab it, and drew on it. Right. Yeah, you know, passports, knives, matches, <laughs> gasoline, <laughs> oil change. You know, they're just grabbing stuff all the time. Uh, here's somebody that wasn't happy. Doctors in Florida removed 150 live bugs from a man's nose. And this, it, 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 there's a warning on the video. This what, is a nightmare. Says, Do, if, if it's what kind of bugs? Uh, rel- some relatively big ones. It's Paul really Meadows. gross. Man, I don't doesn't say what it. kind of bugs. I'm sorry, I don't know. The unnamed patient told First Coast News that he started feeling off last October, but it was not until recently he began experiencing painful swelling and constant nosebleeds. Oh, yes. I had that. Yeah, almost died. He went to bugs. HCA Florida yeah. Memorial Hospital in Jacksonville, where doctors discovered live bugs feeding on the inside of his nose and sinus cavity. Oh, oh my word! Well, first of all, the good news is I'm delicious. And the oh. second. <laughs> 
The bugs were so large that all 150 needed to be removed individually before they were sent off to an epidemiologist for analysis. He needs to talk to his Coke dealer. <laughs> yeah. now, you know, you got larvae in the air. If he's got 150 oh. in his nose, better check his ass. He made up a python up there. Oh, what? That was, <laughs> that's just so weird. Hmm. That, was, that was famously predicted, though. What do you mean? Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, N Nostril Thomas? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I... <laughs> I'm upset at him or upset at you. I don't... For having the same brain yeah, that went yeah, to... Yeah, 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 maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. This is... Uh, don't watch the video. Well, I wasn't playing. It's... it's... It... it I, I'm just... What do you call it? I got the heebie-jeebies. Ooh. Ugh. So disgusting. Man. Yeah, how did they get... I don't... Something's weird about this story. This doesn't I'm, just... This I'm doesn't just him. happen. That, that could have been... An, Probable cause right there. No, if I, he got bad. He inhaled something bad. And 150 right, bugs were in it. And, I, well, if larva got into your nose, that's how it, somehow larva got up. Yes, there. they don't just. <laughs> had to have. They, he didn't suck up 150 bugs at one time. They were. Does the story say how replicating in his nose? How we can make sure this never happens to any of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this Man, is the kind of story. Us. This usually comes out of Australia. Yeah, and then it's it's usually some disgusting bug. But that's uh, nasty. Yeah. It's, it, you, you, the story is on First Coast News, and it literally says, "Viewer discretion advised." Graphic images from the operating room. Oh man, yikes! Did you look at it? Yeah, I can't. It, I've looked at the little part. Is it? I'm I'm out. Christy, your husband lives with you. Uh, who yeah. kills? Who takes care of a spider now? We haven't uh, had one since he moved in. Are you fine with it, or do you? I take care of him. Mm. I don't mind. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I you're like, not really. I'm, yeah, and I kind of save them and put them outside. I tend to do that. Okay, yeah. Josh, this you might want to hear this. All right. This guy, the patient, who uh, is, says he enjoys fishing, and apparently they, there's some thought that he was washing his hands in the after handling dead fish, washing his hands, but not very diligently. So then maybe and he they wiped picked his, his nose yeah. or something. Oh, something got up God. in there. So yeah, larva got up in there. Yeah. And, ugh. Well, okay. Oh. Next. Yeah. yeah, and if it was in October and it's February, that's a lot of reproduce, reproducing bugs. Oh, and and then what's the famous episode? Is it, uh, it's not Twilight Zone. It's Night the, Gallery. Night Gallery with the. I think it's the Night Gallery, yeah. Yeah, earwigs or, or, or something. Yeah, or the thing go, and, goes in his yeah. ear. Yeah, and, and he makes it, and but then they, they laid eggs. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Classic. A woman in the UK says a badger rents. <laughs> Oh, he's, I love a, that. He's a rowdy one. <laughs> now, is a badger... Um, it's an uh, animal. Is that, do they have those in the U.S.? Yes, Badgers? I think yeah. so, yeah. What do you mean? Of course like, we have badgers. Are they like well, raccoons? What are they? I don't even kind know. Kind of, yeah. Badger. Charlotte so we, do, we do have them? Yes. Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Charlotte Glazer told the BBC that she had returned from a trip and believed her historic Isle of Wight home had been burglared. She said all the cupboards were flung open, food was spilled on the floor, there were scratch marks on doors, plug sockets ripped from walls, bites taken out of chairs. Yikes. Sheets torn off the bed and clothes strewn about. Aren't badgers pound for pound the most vicious animals in the, oh. on, on the earth? Honey badgers, we don't care. Remember they that? They kill more people than guns. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've heard. What, what a ridiculous And fact. then you got a badger with a gun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, good yeah. Lord. After surveying the mayhem, Glazier discovered the furry culprit hiding in a bin that had tipped over. The Badger Trust of the Isle of Wight responded to the house, trapped the animal in a cage before releasing it in the wild. The family said the badger cost an estimated $2,500 worth of damage. Oh, yeah. They look like uh, ferrets, kind of. Kind of, yeah. They don't look like they would do the damage that that's... I mean... Uh, Maybe he brought his friends <laughs> over. This one has really yeah. long yeah. Um, really long fingernails. Mm -hmm. You mean claws? Yeah, claws. Oh. Is so disgusting. <laughs> oh, he I didn't, went to an Ivy League school. I didn't take animal husbandry. I yeah. <laughs> um, guess what state has the most badgers? Wisconsin. No. Uh, no, it is it Wisconsin. I'm, I'm just jokingly. I would think probably. No, but. it's not Wisconsin. It's well, like Wisconsin I'm, Badgers. No, I think it's like Minnesota or North Dakota oh. or one of those. I'm it's a fun fact. Carolinas. 
Um, they like woods. So I, I've never seen one of these things in the wild. Or the other. <laughs> well, <laughs> what are you talking have about? you seen a mink in the wild? They're right here in this river, right behind. Minks the are filthy creatures. Yeah, they're mean and they're dangerous. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they should all. We should all. They make what? Gloves <laughs> out of them. That's what we should make. <laughs> Would you wear a pair of mink? If I buy, I, let me tell you something. I, I will buy no, you a pair of mink gloves. No, I do. Will not. you wear Come them? Come on, do man. Do that. No, Come on. wear those mink gloves. Who, no. who, who, who wear them? I'll buy them for him. Who wear? I'll buy, I will. I will. I will wear a pair. By Thank God. You. Offer over. <laughs> a New Jersey school went into lockdown after a deer rammed into a glass door. <laughs> the Howell Township Police Department said students and faculty at Greibling School had to shelter we in... We sang to the old Greibling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, had to shelter in place after the animal smashed into the door and caused a break in the glass. Pardon me. The deer was <laughs> dazed, but yeah. otherwise fine. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. Thank you. Got to go to lockdown because of a deer? Yeah, this just goes to show how good the quality of education is at Greibling or Grabling. The deer had to try to break in to join the kids. <laughs> ah, Woody. Yeah. Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> oh, a deer, a female deer. <laughs> Ray, a drop of golden sun. Thank you very much. Me. My name. Why I lockdown, though? Myself. I don't know, Tom. Maybe they were afraid the deer would get in and the kids would get hurt. You can't have a deer running around in the school. Those hooves are sharp. They'll yeah. Cut, they'll cut you. There's a chance, too, that I mean, some secretary heard glass break and went, locked out. Well, and just there's that, bond. yeah. True. That's probably the yeah. thing to do. Okay. Yeah. Authorities say a South Carolina motorist who claimed that she was running late crossed state lines and drove through a Georgia cemetery. Oh. The Livonia Police Department in Georgia said sheriff's deputies from... Oconee County, South Carolina, tried to stop a woman who was late for an appointment and decided to keep going down 85 through Livonia and into Livonia Cemetery. Mm. The driver allegedly damaged several graves before getting out of her vehicle and fleeing on foot. She'll never get there then. They found 300 dead. (laughs) So I don't know if she'll be charged for all of them, but... Oh, because it was in the graveyard. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. She was taken into custody and will spend some time what with Franklin that? County Sheriff Steve Thomas before being sent back to what South What is that, Carolina. Joe, the airplane? Yeah, it's, it's an offensive uh, <laughs> certain uh, per, certain person ethnicity uh, it crashes it really? cra- Yeah, crashes the plane. Okay, all right. Yeah, the, I, the, didn't the, the, the I didn't know that. I didn't know that. The headline is 3,000 dead in plane crash. I've just heard the one, if a plane crashes... In the U, uh, on the U.S.-Canada border, mm-hmm. where do they bury the survivors? Where do they bury the survivors, you yeah. know? There are no survivors, right? No, there. You just wouldn't bury survivors. You don't bury survivors. Oh. It's one of those. Oh. Ah. One of those riddles. Where oh, you that go, means like oh, a, that was fun. Oh. If a rooster at the top of a roof lays an egg, which side does it roll on? A rooster's no eggs. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's not not a fun riddle at all. No, it's, you're kind of get mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Kind of like the day. What color is the bear that walks by? If you have a sunshine in both. Hey, wait, hat hat. Yeah, how that? I had a buddy of mine. Um, <laughs> There, yeah, there used to be this yours. huge cemetery near where I lived, and and they had a this several winding roads in the cemetery. Of course, yeah. And uh, a friend of mine, literally his his dad taught him driver's ed there. Hmm. I mean, he figured, look, you can't kill him again. No. So, uh, yeah, but you can run over the grave. Not well, a lot of traffic not in there. Yeah, there you go. Knock there. over a tomb. Hit a mortar, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice flowers. <laughs> China is planning to send a new pair of giant pandas like to the San Diego an Zoo. <laughs> What now, Christy? I was China, talking. China is planning to send Go us- ahead with the story. <laughs> you can start now. We got new pandas here. We're getting new pandas. I'm sorry. China is planning to send a new pair of giant pandas to the San Diego Zoo after a few years in which nearly all the iconic bears in the U.S. were sent home. Megan Owen of the San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance says the zoo's been working with China and expects to get a pair by what? summer's end if what? permits are approved. What would you do, Josh? You get on a plane, you're walking down to look for your seat, and there's a panda in the middle seat. I mean, I would I would be overjoyed. <laughs> he has a hat on, his traveling. I would just love it. Traveling tie. He has his little valise. Yes, his traveling Making tie. a connection. Yes. Yeah. I hope we get there soon. I was told this was Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> well, I liked your little scenario, Chick. Thank it you. It didn't need that crappy joke. No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't well, at all. Well, did if it. you're going to be that way, number three. <laughs> hey. from man with a deep voice. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick. 
<laughs> yes, Ace. What do you call uh, a cow's farts? <laughs> what do you call a cow's farts? I don't know, Ace. What? Dairy air. That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. <laughs> Look at you like a lunatic. Uh, uh, got Tom. Uh, Okay. See, cows are animals that provide all those dairy products. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Now, um, I, I want to <laughs> remind you that the Bob and Tom Show, sponsored by BetterHelp, it is a common misconception that relationships are only perfect if everything is always right, if it's easy. If it's easy, it's the right relationship. Not really. Take some work, like everything else. And uh, BetterHelp is all about working on your own head. And uh, the idea of BetterHelp is a, is a simple and smart one, and that is to make getting therapy a lot easier by making it much more accessible. We've got the tool with us almost all the time. I'm talking about that, uh, that phone you're carrying around um, or your laptop or your desktop, whatever it is. The way it works with uh, BetterHelp is you log on and you fill out a brief questionnaire. They'll match you with one of 25,000 uh, licensed therapists and um, by the way you can switch therapists at any time no charge and then the way it works with the therapy it's also done online so it's significantly more convenient you don't have to get in your car and drive somewhere sit in the lobby and be sitting there with someone you can do it however you want it's what's best for you to look for the best version of yourself and uh, you can do it with uh, the camera on you can do it like a facetime call or you can do it uh, just talking like you're on the phone or texting back and forth whatever works for you it's flexible, it's convenient, and obviously suited to your schedule. So uh, take a look inside. See how you're doing. Become your own soulmate if you're looking for a soulmate or not. Visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show today. That slash BT Show part will nail you uh, 10% off your first month. Once again, BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Coming up. It's our important history lesson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Hey, this is Sam Miller from Olympia, Washington. Come see me this weekend at the Jukebox Comedy Club in beautiful Peoria, Illinois, Friday and Saturday, 23rd and 24th. You can get tickets on my website or the Jukebox website. Uh, my website is sammillercomedy.com backslash ticks. I am going to um, exit the studio with right. the Wizzo meter. And um, we have uh, the crew standing by. Uh, Chick, are you going to come and follow me? And uh... Yes. No, okay. This okay. would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain what the Wizzo meter is, Christy? Yes, it's a small device that you hook to a urinal. And men, of course, uh, urinate into the device. And it reads out a velocity, I guess, would be the correct term. It's like Are you there, Tom? Can you hear us now? Can you, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, we yes. hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? I hear oh, you yes. also, Chick. So you guys are moving down to the well, men's room. Let me tell you something. Um, our kind of like a our radar gun. crew member is uh, dressed <laughs> in a <laughs> I see he's in a poncho. In a and, uh, you know, you take every precaution because <laughs> these guys, you don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you don't get that bifurcated thing, you know. <laughs> we have set up the Wizzo meter. Now, Christy, it's just kind of like a radar gun for urination. Kind exactly. of, but they don't yes. use radar. No, okay, it uses a little wheel that you yeah. spin We're like going a hamster. In the We're going in. <laughs> Uh, you two are gonna. You, um, are you two Tom, gonna whiz together at the same time? No, no, no. no, no. no. Tom is at the. Uh, I'm urinal. at the urinal. Where's he Chick? Is, uh, can you? Can, do you want? Do you have the tester? Should we test it one time first? I have a squirter bottle with water in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna squirt. The, this is a really heavy squirter. I don't think any human being could do. Okay, I'm squirting, and the whizzometer is reading 10, 14, 8. Uh, looks like um, the total readout, uh, 14 was the high. You know, you really didn't even squeeze it. I was going to say. Okay, you're coming out of a squirt bottle. Are you sure it's not on spray? Out of it. Oh, my God. There, there's, uh, it got up to 80. you got to wow. squeeze it, Tom. Yeah, that's what. Oh. 80? 80. I can't go up to 80. Well, I know you can't go up to 80, but you were, like, doing this like a little Nancy guy. I was making a little wheel go around. Yeah. Okay, okay, Flo Max. We'll see how you do. Okay, I'm going to. So the way it works is after you checked it again, uh, it's um, reading out 50. So it, it, it works like a radar gun. Right. Okay. Okay, I am going to. Uh, Are you going to unzip and uh, see what you got? He's, he's reaching Yeah, now, has any, we've not tried this with, no, I don't want to splash in anybody here. 
Oh, he's well, let's uh, hope not. I'm getting ready to go. Okay, I'm going. I'm ripping it here. This oh, is the best God. I can do. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> this is so good. What kind of there speed? Are taking, there are people taking pictures. What kind of speed you got going on? I, I'm afraid there may be some additional audio. You get a warm-up lap? There may be some additional audio. <laughs> 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 yeah. so, uh, 26 was the high. I'm sorry, what? Uh, 26. 26? <laughs> oh my God, this is your prostate check. It looks like, <laughs> and it looks like chick when you did it. There's, there's water all over the floor. Okay, okay, come on in, prostate king. Uh, okay. No, I'm not saying I'm going to do any better, but. Okay, now chick's going to get know, up I, there. I have a. I have a shy bladder. Well, I'm not going to look. Oh, he's going to stand there for an hour trying to whiz because yeah. he has I've a shy bladder. His phone. He needs two hands to handle the monster. I can't. Did you find it yet? I don't know. <laughs> oh. He's digging. Have you found it yet? I don't know if I can do this when everybody wants me. Okay, are you going uh -huh. yet? No. You no. haven't even started? No, I can't go. Hey, everybody turn your head. Okay, nobody look. <laughs> oh my God! I can't. Think about think about Niagara Falls. Uh huh. Think about think about wet uh, things. Think about Niagara yeah. Falls. Think, think about, about water. Turn the faucet on. I have to turn the faucet. What? Oh, Jeez. Why? You oh. don't want to stay there. Works for my girls. Here we go. Oh, yeah, oh, he's finally started. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. He's going. What uh, kind of? Well, I can't get the wheel to turn. <laughs> now, no, now if, if there's any kind of gaseous emission, it voids the arena. Forty-six, readout. fifty-four, fifty-six. Oh. <laughs> So, okay. well, did you get 56? What, what, what is the readout? 56. 56. Ooh, chick. Very and, uh, Tom, you had 20? 24. Mine was, what was mine, 20-something? 20, 20. Wow. Maybe you should um, have your prostate checked. Are you, still, are you still going? Yeah, I told you I had to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're, sorry, well, the test is well, over. Maybe we, can do, maybe we can do a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> the, the camel releases. <laughs> I'm still going. Okay, wow. uh, anybody else have to go? Well, we've got the whole Would you wait? Here. I'm not done yet. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm sorry. So the Wizzo meter, let me see the readout. Oh, the, the okay. key is to get the wheel to spin. Sometimes you, okay. your aim is, is a lot, a uh, key to it. You oh, probably I see. didn't hit the wheel. Uh, you have to aim? You have yeah. to aim. You can't you arc it in there, Tom. I got a question for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's going to take this thing out of the urinal? <laughs> oh, well, well, I'm sure we can find there. an intern Why to not? do that for us. Do we have any interns? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we're heading back in. Integrity, strength of character, honesty, <laughs> but really the most important thing, got to have a big ass. I need, uh -huh. I may be outside the pale on this one, judging by all the magazine covers I see, mm -hmm. but I'm done with these ectoskeletal, wafer-thin, <laughs> rice cake chomping chicks with the Ally McBeal arms and those heroin-looking legs. Yeah. Even the three little pigs knew you don't build something out of sticks if you're going to spend any time inside. <laughs> <laughs> and the allies, they tell you all the psychological stuff to make you feel safe. Like, every time you get to the plane, they talk about the flotation seat. And they explain it to you. Like, if you go down, in, if you crash in the ocean, then the seat will float. Two planes out of 100 go overseas. 98 out of 100 stay right here. So if you want to make me happy, you show me a seat that's going to bounce out of a cornfield. <laughs> that's what I like. <laughs> 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 they got everything just confused. Like that. James Gregory is our guest. He's not a flyer, apparently. You know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Hey, don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This is coming up. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show, and we are at that point in the show where it's time to learn a little something with our... History teacher, man about town. Well, while he's looking, it's National Chili Day, National Margarita Day, and National Walk Your Dog Day. So enjoy. I'll enjoy two of the three. I'll enjoy all three. Really? Well, there you yeah, go. Yeah, why not? Okay, get a chili dog. That's knocks out two of them. Uh, yeah, is it Walk Your Chili Dog Day? No, oh, it's how Walk about that? Your Dog Day. Get a chili dog you and walk it off. You can put chili on your dog, <laughs> I guess. You walk your dog, chili, and what was the other one? Uh, walk your dog, chili, and a margarita. Oh, okay. No, you're not. I thought you did. Aren't you doing a no, uh, a no alcohol Lent? 
I never said that. <laughs> oh. I did dry January, remember? Don't push me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up for Lent. You are? I'm just giving up. Yeah. Just giving up? Oh, okay. I usually give up self-denial. Uh, now, it's also Be Humble Day. <laughs> yeah. I'm always humble. In fact, I'm the most humble. In oh. That's right. Uh, on this date, the actual real birthday of George Washington. Oh, okay. Who thinks that's... What do people yeah, say? Yeah, Lincoln's is like the 16th or something, is that right? Well, they celebrate... President's Day. President's what Day. What he's talking about. Yeah, but I thought everybody knew that that wasn't their birthdays. Yeah, we all don't. knew that. Many don't. I don't think... <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know why he does uh, things like this. 1918, the birth of... Uh, Don Pardo. 1918? Yeah. A uh, friend of the show. Uh, Don. Uh, so most, he's 106, huh? Most famously. Well, sadly, he's gone. Uh, oh. Don, uh, most famous for Jeopardy. He was the booth announcer for Jeopardy. And, of course, Saturday Night Live. He was great. No, he was. He was also great. He got paid for talking. Who does? Oh. oh. <laughs> um, Christy, do you know who um, Alfred J. Gross was? Born in this date in 1918. No, but he's sick. <laughs> Nasty uh, fellow. Yeah. He invented the walkie-talkie. Oh, well, look at that. Who was it? Mr. Alfred Gross. What oh. year again? He was born in 1918. Oh, that's right. It was awkward when he presented them to FDR. <laughs> oh, well, he got the talkie. That's the walkie. Because, uh, you can use Rolly talkie. <laughs> Man, what a great name, because I mean, it sounds like kind of like a kid gave him the name. Yeah. Yeah. Walkie talkie. I mean, well, if he invented the car, yeah. the car wouldn't be the car, it'd be the fasty goey. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, walkie gotta, talkie, you're right, though, really yeah. did catch on and like the military and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walkie talkie. Um, uh, Robert Kardashian, born in the state in 1944, the uh, Bobby K. guy that made all the money, and then now they're making more. Yeah. Um, he was OJ's best friend, so. Good luck in hell. Uh, let's Just see. Just because uh, you're friends with somebody who's awful doesn't mean you go he, to hell. He, he I no. pray. He, 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 I, I sure as <laughs> so sure so hell hope not. Uh, he, he was defending OJ in court. So uh, he, it's okay if his friends slit the throat of someone. Uh, Dr. J, 1950. <laughs> Julius Irving, man. He is one of the coolest people on the planet. Go we were back. just talking about him last night. Go back and watch some of that early stuff he did. A friend of mine got to be around him during the All Star game over the weekend, and I guess he's just he did it so before, uh, smooth. Before, before Michael and yeah. cool. He's now, fluent French. Um, uh, Steve Irwin was born on this date. Oh, the crocodile hunter. We talked to him. His family's so sweet. His yeah, kids they are. are great. They do a lot of good work. Yes. They um, do. Thomas Jane, good actor. I always get him and. Austin, no. Who's the guy I get Thomas Jane mixed up with? Jane Austen. <laughs> <laughs> Better than what I had, Tom. Uh, Jane, Jane Curtin? I, no. You know, today is also Tex Avery Day. I know you're a fan of his. Austin, uh, well, that's that's where this comes from. Comes from. That's right. Thomas Jane, he played at, what was he, he was in that TV show, Hung. Isn't that, he was in that. I yeah. don't know who Thomas Jane is, sorry. Um, you'd recognize him. Okay. I'll Real good Eckhold, guy. Austin. Born in 69. Uh, Eckhold. Oh, Aaron Eckhart. Aaron Eckhart and Thomas James. Oh, I guess. Uh, Drew Barrymore, happy birthday. Um, born in 1975. We all on grew this up date, with her. In the world of sports, a big day, the miracle on ice. Yep. And this is the day that the they beat the Soviet Union. On tape delay. <laughs> and then... <laughs> They, then they went on to win another game to get the to get the gold medal. Right, Pretty that amazing. was the big one. Amazing, yeah. Um, Ace, we talked about this before. 1990, Millie Vanilli wins Best New Artist at the Grammys, mm -hmm. and they had to give them back. Throw them live. You saw Millie Vanilli live? Mm -hmm. Club, you M did the Club MTV tour. I oh. wouldn't. Uh, were they singing? <laughs> I didn't know they were lip singing too much later, but. But live band, and you really couldn't tell. I, can right, really I had a, a, my friend's mom went to a Millie Vanilli concert and said the exact same mm -hmm. thing. You would not know you that would they not, were. Yeah, no. the band was so good. And, and... Wow, um, uh, Dolly the Sheep uh, uh. debuts 1997. All sheep look alike. Whatever happened to uh, Dolly and did they? Hmm? The clone sheep. Yeah, the clone sheep. Did that? Did that, are they still doing that or? Are we oh. getting... Uh, it mutated into a Bigfoot, didn't okay, it? Okay, okay, <laughs> good. All right, okay. Um, uh, 2014, El Chapo, captured in uh, Mexico. Oh. Going to El Chapo, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get Sodom. Ah. 
He's currently in prison. He's in stir, as they say. And that's uh, what happened on this day in history. Uh, things we learned down on the show. Tom and the Mars Simulator, we are all uh, signing petition and feverishly doing what we can to get Tom on the Mars Simulator <laughs> as quickly as possible. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, if you have an AT&T phone and also uh, T-Mobile, a couple of uh, cell just, services Some, some T-Mobile, some Verizon. There's some kind of something going on with the system nationally. Right. Yeah. Uh, Tom Griswold um, is going to, for Christmas, give us butt plugs with his photo. <laughs> and I will use it. No, no, no. They're, they're sculpted. Right up there, They're, they're sculpted. They're not photographs. Oh, yes. It's a, is, is it oh, your actual? Yeah. Three-dimensional. They're sculpted? It's a sculpture, yeah. It's your face? <laughs> it's his head. On a butt plug? His head. It's not a photo? <laughs> no. That nose is going to hurt. <laughs> I don't have a big nose. Do I have a big nose? No, but I think any nose would hurt. Yeah, I think he, yeah, yeah. any nose. Ace has kind of a button nose, I guess. Oh, my God. This is so Ace? ridiculous. Put, put him the button button. Uh, <laughs> we talked about the disco bathroom for what seemed like days. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love the disco bathroom. I, uh, we all know. It's a cool thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Al Jackson holds his breath when he goes into a public bathroom. He doesn't care for it. Doesn't care for it at all. Grow up, Al. <laughs> Part of life. We learned phrases, let me cook and baby girl today from Al. Yes, we did. Tom did not know what either of those are, and I've forgotten. Do you remember, Tom? Yeah, sure I do. Let me cook? It means you're thinking. Okay. You're, uh, let me, it's, it's, you're letting the idea not really develop in your head, right? No. no. What, what does it mean? It means uh, they'll get they're they're getting started. Just let them warm, keep warming up. You know, keep, like Josh uh, getting... doesn't talk the first break of the show. Yeah, he's you know how he is. Yeah. He's thinking. He's cooking the. He's, he's, not he's, ready. he's, he's cooking his thoughts. Getting let the idea. Cook. Just yeah. stating. I'm exactly right. Then he, as the show goes on, he uh, he talks more and more, and then uh, that's shut what uh, caused me to say, ask him to shut up today <laughs> off the air. Thank you. That that just mean. All right. And, um, now, uh, coming up tomorrow, Dusty Slay in studio with us. Should be a great show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at